I'm Kaylee from Red Rose. Check out Kill Tony. Hey, this is Redman coming to you live from Vulcan Gas Company here in Austin, Texas. For a brand new episode of Kill Tony, give it up for Tony! It's clear! Austin, Texas, it's Monday night. You ready to fuck some shit up? Yeah, let's do a big, dirty comedy show, everybody. Make some noise for my good friend Brian Red. And everyone, we are here in Austin. Shit's crazy. Whew, I got distracted up there talking to our uh, guest tonight. How you doing, Red Band? Great. What's yeah, there it goes. Mind. There's a little. How about a hand for the band, everybody? What the fuck is up? Holy shit, what kind of comedy band is this? <laughs> chaos, I tell you. Absolute fucking chaos. How about a hand for him? It's the great D Madness on bass guitar, everybody. You know him, you love him. Matt Muling on guitar. And the great Charles. Charles Reedon. Charles Reedon. How about one more time for Charles, everybody? It's yes. his first night with us. Michael Gonzalez will be back next week. Exciting, exciting stuff, Red Band. We have yes. these amazing joke books made by the great Adrian Cavazos of Boneseye. And tonight's show, of course, brought to you in part by the Yellow Rose and the Red Rose. How many of you love strip clubs out there, huh? If I ever find out you guys go to another strip club other than the Yellow Rose or the Red Rose, you're never allowed at Kill Tony again. That's true. Banned for life. We track these things. Uh, fuck yeah. It's the Screwball Band this week, everybody. Screwball Peanut Butter Whiskey. The absolute best fucking peanut butter whiskey you could ever ask for in your goddamn lives. How about that? It's great. Actually, have love you ever had it? Yeah, I have, and I actually do love it. That's it's how amazing. It, yeah. I, I mix it with some Kahlua and some cream. It's amazing. Highly recommend it. I love it. We love all of our sponsors. Speaking of which, here's a little bit more about the amazing sponsors that made tonight's episode available for you right now. Hey, y'all, giddy up, little doggies. The hot summer months are here, and we need to be proactive to keep our body fueled and hydrated. And hydration is a priority that helps us feel healthier on a day-to-day -day basis and fuels us to be our highest potential. And I'm telling you, here in Texas, this heat is no joke. One stick of liquid IV and 16 ounces of water hydrates faster and more efficiently than water alone. I use this stuff every day. It absolutely saves my life. In fact, I need to be using it more. I went out and saw my buddies play some music yesterday, and I swear to God, I almost passed out five times. Water doesn't do it the way this stuff does at all. I use it on the golf course. I use it every day. Like I said, I need to use it more. Plus, it tastes great. Flavors like watermelon, strawberry, and lemon lime. Sounds like summer to me. Doesn't it, Red Band? Yes, and my favorite, tangerine. You know, if you have a little drinky poos at night, take one before you go to bed. When you wake up in the morning, have another one. It will make you feel so much better. I love the, the taste of it, and I also love that there's five essential vitamins, more vitamin C than an orange, and as much potassium as a banana. Healthier than the sugary sports drinks that I had quit. I used to drink, a, you remember, I used to drink like a Gatorade every day. Yeah. No artificial flavors or preservatives and less sugar than an apple. It's made with clean ingredients, non-GMO, vegan, and free of gluten, dairy, and soy. 
And don't forget, the liquid IV is effective because of its amazing cellular transport technology. The optimal ratio of glucose, sodium, and potassium delivers water and nutrients into the bloodstream. It's the perfect balance to help you hydrate more quickly and effectively than water alone. No doubt about it, Liquid IV is our jam. One of our favorite sponsors of all time and a product that absolutely freaking works. We mean it. Grab your Liquid IV in bulk nationwide at Costco, or you can get 25% off when you go to liquidiv.com and use the code TONY at checkout. Listen, I'm serious, people. This isn't just an ad read. We believe in this product. Get your Liquid IV, go to liquidiv.com, use Tony at checkout, and cool yourself down this summer. That's 25% off anything you order when you get better hydration today using promo code Tony at liquidiv.com. Are you guys ready to start tonight's show or what? Austin, Texas, every single week, we have a couple of the funniest comedians in the world in town. You know, I'm a very, very lucky man, and I'm blessed to have amazing comedians as uh, friends. And I started at the Comedy Store in 2007, and I got to tell you, I can't be more excited to have tonight's guest than I possibly am. Ladies and gentlemen, amazing Comedy Store legends. Uh, I mean, what can I say? Legends of the game, the prince of the comedy store. Two of my favorite comedians in the world, Josh Martin and Pauly Shore, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> hang dang, thank you. Yeah! It's Pauly motherfucking Shore and Josh Martin, everyone. Pauly Shore is on a Texas tour, everybody. <laughs> he tried to get fists. Paul, you can't fist bump to even had it. There you go. <laughs> Why didn't he give me a fist pump? What, what the fuck, dude? He's blind. Oh, shit. <laughs> Why didn't you tell me that shit? <laughs> I forgot to warn you about that. Pauly Shore's here, everybody. San Antonio tomorrow here at Vulcan Gas Company this Wednesday. So, sorry about that, bro. I didn't know. <laughs> Houston, Thursday, Dallas, Friday, and Fort Worth, Saturday. His podcast, Random Rants, I've been on it. Everybody's been on it. It's a crazy old time. And be sure to check out the amazing movie Guest House, out now on Netflix. Polly Shore is here, everybody. Also, Polly Shore of Polly Shore and the Krusties. He started a band. Yeah, I have a band called Polly Shore and the Krusties, and I was thinking maybe we could play, but... I don't know if they want to do that shit tonight. You know what I mean? Oh, I'm sure. I'm Maybe sure something's later gonna pop up. Let's give it up for Tony Red Band, you guys here. Josh Martin, very funny comedian. Josh Martin of the Wrestle Fetish Podcast, a pro wrestling fan, of course. Uh, back when I was in LA, we used to do a pro wrestling podcast together called the Store Horseman, and then a global pandemic hit, it changed everything. But we're all here together. Josh, how you doing? Hello, everyone. Austin, you are weird. <laughs> Josh oh, also I thought I was weird but holy shit <laughs> yeah, you guys it, are creepy looking it's great seeing Josh <laughs> again Tony it really is Josh is uh, one of the people that really helped us out a lot when this podcast first started and uh, so how about a hand you kill Tony fans for Josh Martin I mean truly one of the first people ever to believe in this show and uh and a huge part of our history uh, and, uh, and our present. We're here with Polly and Josh. You guys know how the show works. A ton of people signed up for the opportunity to get on the show. If I pull their name out of the bucket, they get 60 seconds uninterrupted. They, you know their time is up when you hear the sound of a kitten. Did you hear that? That means that's their time. They have to wrap it up then or else they're going to bring out the angry West Hollywood bear. There it is. Seems a little low tonight. Maybe yes. we could turn that up. Maybe we could get a Hello? Let's turn up the volume a little bit there. Two, 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 three, four, five, six, seven, eight, blah, 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 blah. And, is that? Okay. There you go. That's great. Sound better, huh? You guys excited for a great show tonight? Well, then let's start it off with something special. Let's start with a regular on this show. This guy writes and performs a brand new minute every single week. Normally, he closes the show. So you guys are seeing the closing as the opening. Diagnosed with Lou Gehrig's disease uh, a few years ago after decades of experience at Second City in Chicago. 
Uh, he decided once he was diagnosed to chase his bucket list dream of being a stand-up comedian instead of an improv superstar. And since then, he has grown to fame here on Kill Tony as one of the greatest comedians in the show's history. This is a new minute from the great and powerful Michael Lair, everybody. Here he is. Live in the flesh. Moved to Texas literally like a month after Red Band and I. He wanted to be near the live audiences. And here he is now. Guys, guys, guys. Can you get that mic stand? You got that? Oh, not you, Josh. Oh, fuck yeah. Josh, still producing the show. How about a hand for Josh Martin? And one more time for the great Michael Lair, everybody. Come on. Is this guy blind, too? What the fuck? No, no he's not blind. We, we, don't, we don't talk during this part. One more time for Michael Lair, everybody. I'm not blind. I'm just retarded. All my disappearance makes them noise. Yeah! I'm doing the responsible thing, donating my antibodies. You should all do it too. There's a clinic off uh, 35, it's open 24 7. It's called Dreamers or Pleasures. Either way, I put my penis in a wall and the machine sucks out the antibodies. And when I say a machine, I mean the guy's name is Machine. Now, um, look, um, Bill Cosby is out of jail. A lot of people are upset. All the SJWs are like, boy, so much unconsensual sex. <laughs> but, you know, on the other side, they say sleep is the best medicine. <laughs> And it's the um, time my medicine was free. Yo, but for real, that was disgusting. Even the coronavirus is like, I killed four million people and you like cast me out of jail. I need to make a Huxtable variant. What's next? Louis Nassar gets out of jail. Have you been watching the Olympics? We're like always. What the fuck is Tipo Chase? Alright? Oh, I don't know, but it sounds racist. Alright, it's like guys jumping on, over hurdles and portals. It seems like something Masters used to make their slaves do for entertainment. <laughs> Michael Lair getting extra time from us, only from us. Michael, welcome back to the show. Another brand new. Uh, that was two minutes and 30 seconds, but we like to let you go however long yeah, you want. Yeah, but I should have pulled up. You know, I like that I experiment. But that dragged a little bit, but you know, I learned. So wait, you went to a whorehouse? Is that what you were saying? You... Yeah. <laughs> and what's the name of it again? Uh, pleasures okay. or Dreamers, what is it? P pleasures? Dreamers, dreamers, that fucking guy knows. Up in the yeah. cheap seats, way up in the back. Dreamers! Back there jerking I read off. the Google review, and basically, you pay a hundred again and 60 for the girl, 40 goes to the house, and then you tip up to 500, and basically it's a, um, a bait and switch where you basically pay 500 to jerk yourself off. You're getting ripped <laughs> off, my friend. Uh, there's a place in Round Rock. It's 120 bucks. You get full sex. I it's know, man. Red Man, you are disgusting. No one wants to picture you having $120 sex hey. in Round Rock. You, you know, fucking monster. Uh, Tony, if I may, um, you know, for... <laughs> 
It's Whoa. crazy. You pay $120 and the girl has to have sex with a round rock. <laughs> I just thought of that right then, just like that. Hey. It's a red band round rock joke. Bro, you I gotta can. say, Michael, I cannot believe that they hired you. This is the weirdest Colonel Sanders I've ever seen in my entire life. Steve I love they keep doing these celebrity things, but I never thought it would cross over to you. I don't know what Colonel Sanders is, but I'm definitely... I'm definitely the gay one. <laughs> you guys remember Michael from L.A., right? I kind of remember him, but I don't fucking remember him. Grandma, <laughs> so I kind of, I do remember you. You met my yeah. son, too. Yes, yeah. yes, I remember you. Nice that to see was so you. That awesome. You moved here, too, huh? So I guess I was the first after these two. Yep. Jo- he sounds like Josh kind of a little yeah, bit, that, right? That's what's crazy. <laughs> the two of us sound exactly alike. <laughs> but he spent his unemployment money on prostitutes. Yeah. Me, I spent on Lego sets. We are two very different people. <laughs> oh, um, I collect different things. I'm a flipper. It really is but true. I don't, he has a lot of antiques, yeah. Michael Lair. Yeah. This, I don't I, know what's up with this guy. He looks like Colonel Sanders, but he also looks like he stole Kobe Bryant's shoes. Oh, yeah. After the like, helicopter sn- crash. Snoop Dogg. Like, you, Snoop Dogg. I feel like you sto- caused the crash and then just stole his shoes and then rolled the fuck off. This, this could be Kobe. It could also be any Armenian guy's nighttime slippers. Uh, hey, man. I love Armenians. I don't think the MMA finding credit stealing um, drag racers. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> What'd you do today, Michael? Did you go to any of the local bars on Rainy Street? No. No? Dude, I seem sober. I mean, <laughs> for a usual one. But, um, no, um, we got in a new bed, and it's a fucking nightmare. Everyone rips you off. Like, our bed costs $4,000. What? Wow. Yeah, well, I get the hospital bed. So uh, it's had to be a crap and like a two adjustable bed, like a TV bed from the 80s, you know. But um, the rails on this thing are like sharp edges and <laughs> me and Colette are arguing over how to wrap a swimming noodle around the edges, so... I don't roll and cut them in my forehead in my sleep. Everyone's fucking ripping you off. <laughs> there you go. This is a pretty... <laughs> is this a new advertiser for a bed? Yeah, I think for those of you that want to buy a $4,000 bed with sharp edges, and uh, it's one of the most depressing things I've heard of in a long time. That must really suck to be getting ripped off, and, and the bed sucks. Yeah, but nothing compares to the disease God cursed me with. That's true. To think that the worst part of that bed is that it's your deathbed. It's really yeah, sad. Right. Like, they could yeah. easily end up scraping your body on the oh, sharp yeah. railings after you pass away. It could be the first thing that happens. It must especially. be a Casper. Yeah. <laughs> hey. I like that. Red band. Red band. Talking ghost mattress jokes Red over band. here. Michael, I absolutely love you. We're, what a great way to start tonight's show with a brand new couple minutes from you. We love you so much, and we'll see you next week with brand All new right, more material. Good there job. Goes Michael Lair, yeah. everybody, getting things started tonight. How about one more time for Michael Lair? You guys can play a little something. All right. You guys ready to go into this bucket or what, huh? Bunch of people signed up for the chance. This Undertaker thing is... Got an Undertaker doll in there. You know what's up. Give it to Josh. No. All right. Tonight's show starts with a brand new minute from a man named Bilal Swain, everybody. Bilal Swain. Here we go. How many of you like it when comedians do good on this show? How many of you like it when comedians do bad on this show? All right. We'll see what happens here tonight. You guys love... Oh, shit. One more time for Bilal Swain, everybody. Come on. Mm. 
That fall wasn't on purpose. <laughs> uh, you, guys, you guys know about autoerotic asphyxiation? Yeah. 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 You think they ever tried to lynch somebody but accidentally ended up causing the greatest orgasm of all time? Because if somebody tried to lynch me, I would just start jacking off because I'm not going to miss the big one. Yeah. It's the last one. Come on. Yeah, um, you guys like pears? Any pear people here? Pears? I hate pears. They're like apples, but bad. The only way I would... The only way I would voluntarily eat a pear is if I threw it at somebody and it killed them. I needed to get rid of the evidence. <laughs> oh, shit. All right, yeah, yeah. Wow. That was amazing. Bilal Swain. Am I saying that right, Bilal? Yeah, yeah. Awesome, man. Absolutely fucking hilarious set. How long have you been doing stand-up? Uh, it's been like four years. Incredible, man. It really shows. Absolutely hilarious stuff. All of it here in Austin? No, I started out in Detroit. Yeah. Okay, sweet. Yeah, you know Genevieve? Yeah, yeah, I know her. Okay, awesome. Um, how long you been here? You just visiting? I've been here for like a week. Okay. How much yeah. longer are you here for? Um, maybe until the end of time. I don't know. I could get hit by a bus or something. Okay. <laughs> Hell yeah. I love this shit. Seems like you're uh, very flexible. <laughs> Uh, what do you, uh, how's this been going for you? What, what do you normally, uh, how do you make money? How do I make money? I don't. Okay. <laughs> but, uh, I love it. Yeah. <laughs> Is that what you were doing pre pandemic as well? Did I'm you sorry? have a job before the pandemic hit? Um, kind of. Like, I'd always prioritize comedy, though. Right. That was yeah. why I did everything. You're hilarious. Thanks, man. <laughs> Everything you do is funny. It's pretty crazy. Uh, You're like a funny Michael Che. No, wait, no, wait, no, hold on. It's like a Michael Che did comedy. Uh, Had comedic timing and beats and shit like that. This show was really good. No, I'm kidding. I, I, I'm a huge fan of Michael Che, but it was just a funny thing to say right then. Uh, so, Bilal, what else are you into? you have any hobbies or special skills? You seem like the kind of guy that knows how to, like, fucking pick up some instruments or some crazy shit like that. You do other things too, right? You're an artist. Yeah, I like to draw. You draw? Yeah. Okay. What do you tend to draw? Dick. No, I'm kidding. Uh, <laughs> but, um... And I like to draw, like, uh, whatever pops into my head. I'm, I've been trying to get into animation. I love it. I love it. Oh, wow. Absolutely. You have a girlfriend? No. <laughs> I think every girl is just racist. Seems like those ones would also be into you, though, right? <laughs> Isn't that how it works? Like, don't white girls that hate black guys like yeah. fucking them? But I, I use the same excuse for why women aren't into me. They're just racist. Yeah. It works. It works both it, ways. It never works for me, though. Polly Shore, uh, you are the son of the greatest... Uh, judge in the history of comedy uh, my god Mitzi Shore everybody the famous owner and creator of the comedy store the greatest if she comedy she saw him she would say have him call me on Monday right yeah no, he's fucking funny dude yeah very funny that's what she'd say about Bilal I love it. Uh, you ever uh, perform anywhere other than Detroit? You get around sometimes? Yeah, I've been in New York for the past few months. Oh, yeah. Awesome. Yeah. How's that been going? It's been going good. Yeah. What's it's fun, fun about New York? What do you like? Uh, you don't have to care about people because there are so many of them. <laughs> <laughs> You're absolutely fantastic. You are absolutely fucking fantastic. Yeah. My I God. like this guy's attitude. He really this guy is. guy has a great attitude. He's like, fuck you. None of you are important. It's true. He's very calm, cool, and collected. Especially, shall I mention, especially since you fell coming up the stairs. You're, you're, yeah. I never would have guessed out of anybody. But now that I've met you, you know, when you were first coming up and you fell up the stairs, I'm like, here we go. Uh, There's no way I possibly thought. I, I want to I give him money because he says he has none. So I thought it would be nice to give him a hundred bucks, bro. Hey, Paulie Shore with a hundred dollars. 
Oh my goodness. Holly mother. That's awesome, sure. Holly. How cool is that? Thank you so much. Like I appreciate it. Well, I mean, the guy said he's fucking got no money. He's here. You know what I mean? Give him fucking hundred bucks, dude. Now you give him a hundred bucks. I'm not I gonna do that every time. Hundred bucks. Though. You're giving him another. No, don't give him another hundred. Are you gonna? <laughs> wow. 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 I mean, I don't this think guy's Paul, awesome. Absolutely. You should have a fucking nice meal, some f- fucking barbecue and shit. You know what I mean? Have a good time. Get some fucking prostitutes or some shit, dude. Pauly, if you right? get, I mean, Pauly, 200 if, bucks can get you some of that but shit, I, right? But I'm warning you right now, a lot of these comedians I'm pulling out of this bucket tonight are going to be broke as shit. <laughs> if you keep going the path you're going, you're going to be going all the way to fucking residuals from in the army now and shit. You're going to be digging deep. <laughs> He's taking it back. He's taking the money back. <laughs> the other one, too. The other one, too. I'm just kidding. I was fucking kidding. Relax, assholes. <laughs> ah, Polly motherfucking Shore. Oh, it's so cool. Bilal Swain. I w- uh, Josh is going, what the fuck? That's not cool. <laughs> I'm, on the, I'm on the panel and I'm broke as shit. <laughs> Give me some fucking money. Bilal, I love it. What do you think you're going to spend that 200 bucks from Polly Shore on if you had to guess? What's something you're going to treat yourself to here in Austin, Texas? I'm going to give it to a homeless person. <laughs> <laughs> Take that money back, Polly. <laughs> Grab that, that money. Fucking, no, that's for you, dude. No, I'm kidding. Come on. Let's get some fucking food and shit and hang out later. And you can buy it, too, okay? <laughs> <laughs> when the check comes, he's fucking paying, bro. That could be his biggest credit. <laughs> IMDB page just says, I pay for lunch for Polly Shore. <laughs> that would be good. It's very funny, very funny. Bilal Swain, my only, uh, Bilal, come here. Take one of these amazing Kill Tony joke books. Bilal, sign up again, will you? Come back. Bilal, you'll come back. Sign up again. Come back. I want you to come back. You're hilarious. One more time for the great Bilal Swain, everybody. He's on social media at B-I-L-A-A-L-S-W-A-I-N. So that's where to find him. You know, I'm thirsty, Tony. What? I'm thirsty. Oh, yeah, me too. How about a hand for the amazing staff here at the Vulcan Gas Company, everyone? I'll have one of your delicious Crown Royal and Coca-Colas, please. Me also. We Mm. love Crown and Coke, an American-Canadian super beverage. Your next comedian goes by the name of Darian Irwin. Uh, uh. Step back from that ledge, my friend. Come on, one more time for Darian Irwin, everybody. Here we go. 60 seconds from Darian. All right. How's everybody doing, huh? This is awesome. Fucking look at this. This is fun. Guys, I know I look like I make sleep apnea noises during the day. (laughs) So I do, you know? Big, man. I've been big my whole life, you know? I've never played a game of tag and not just been it the whole time. (laughs) That game's a fucking nightmare, dude. Obesity, that's what my doctor calls it. Uh, It's weird because obesity is a disease, he says. He says it's a disease. It's weird because obesity is a disease that you are, right? Right? Like, you don't have obesity, you are obese. Like, you don't have hepatitis C, you are a bad person. Do you see what I'm saying? It's pretty cool. Uh, I have this 9-11 joke, but it just ne- never lands well. You know what I'm saying? Boom, Darian Irwin right. with a brand new minute, everybody. Right. That was amazing. We're off to an incredible start here on Kill Tony. The people uh, love it when comedians do bad, and you never gave them a chance, Darian. Oh, How okay. long have you been doing stand-up? Uh, about two and a half years. Yeah. Okay, yeah, sweet. Yeah. All of that here in Texas? No, I just moved here like a week ago. Oh, wow. Yeah, dude. 
Were you this yeah. big when you got to Texas, or is yeah. this just a yeah. week worth just of? Just this uh, week, dude. Terry Blacks, dude. It's fucking insane. I love it. I was 140 pounds when I moved here. <laughs> Absolutely. This is what happens. One week at Terry Blacks. Yeah. Have, have you got a job yet? Because they would love to hire you here. I'm sure. Yeah. What I have do you a mean? job at Vulcan. Yeah. Does oh, he seem like a great? Prob- yeah. yeah. You could be a door guy. You, could, could. you could be a ho door guy. I've never heard that before. <laughs> there you go. You are a big motherfucker, man. I you am. always been a big boy. Always, my whole life. Damn, been big. hell yeah. Yeah, yeah. Your whole family, your whole family is uh, big. No, this is my nightmare. My whole family is like in super shape, good shape. Yeah, it's an absolute nightmare. Holly Shore just made a really good point. He said he's married. He picked up on the evidence I there am, around, that, uh, around that around yeah, that yeah, yeah. uh, hot dog, Frank. You call a ring finger there. <laughs> Look at that thing. That is ready to be boiled. Uh, yeah, yeah. Everything. Yeah, look at that. Uh, your your long, wife flat chested or everything flat? No. She's skinny, though. It's bananas. I don't know what happened. You know it, what I mean? It, maybe it literally is just bananas. It's uh, bananas, yeah. Fruits and <laughs> yeah. healthy foods, and then you have a slimmer body. I just, can't believe you're just finding this out now. Yeah, the yeah, shit yeah. literally is yeah, bananas, yeah. Darian, or really anything other than what appears to be bread. <laughs> What is it? What 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 are your go tos? Like what is your like when you're really feeding that fucking urge, that fucking itch? Are we talking about just like a, you ever just go? You have something crazy you do like straight, just straight mayonnaise or something like that, or like? That's insane. No, never never straight mayo. What's your go to? What's the most disgusting thing that you eat? <laughs> well, hell, you probably don't even think it's disgusting. Well, yeah, but, uh, I wouldn't eat very much of it if I didn't like it. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. What's my what's my fucking weakness? Just if you drive by somewhere and they're selling food, you know what I mean? Yeah. 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 It's a That's nightmare. A lot of stuff. Yeah. One hundred percent. There it is. Polly. Polly, how many questions are you gonna ask without picking up a microphone? <laughs> yeah, Polly, I'm I'm Polly's translate. Polly doesn't He's, talk with people is. over 300 pounds. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he has to go through somebody. He's my voice person. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're not allowed to look him directly in the eyes, and he doesn't talk to people over 300 pounds. <laughs> Let's see, only two things with Polly. Oh, just saying, we got some fresh sausages upstairs. Thank you. Okay. We really, there really is uh, said, the great CM yeah, Smokehouse, yeah. Uh, which rules, can be found yeah. at Bolden Acres. That uh, place rules. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Our boys, Cade and Cody, and the great Yoni at Best Barbecue Show. They have incredible. That place rules. You'll stick around. Yoni for some... actually turned me on to that place. They got the fucking uh, crunch wrap, the brisket well, got, crunch I can't wrap. give you two hundred bucks. Yeah, dude. That I can't rules. give you two hundred bucks, but I give you a sandwich, bro, upstairs. <laughs> You want a sandwich? You want to get him a sandwich? You saw him upstairs. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Are you talking? What's happening? Yeah. <laughs> no. Are you are you hungry? <laughs> no, I'm good. Okay. Yeah, yeah. But you will be well, in like what? Like 20, Twenty minutes. Twenty minutes. Yeah, 20 minutes. Exactly. I'm just Absolutely. saying, there's yeah. extra sandwiches yeah. upstairs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll hit it so up. So we can feed you if you're hungry. Okay. Yeah. As soon as he walks down the stairs, he's like, "That's the most exercise I've done in years." Oh yeah, I'm out of breath right now from coming up the <laughs> stairs. Darian, how do you make a living? Uh, I play cards for a living. What kind of cards? Uh, mostly hold them. Mostly hold them. Oh. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Look at that. You make a no, living. No, it's not cool. I'm a degenerate gambler. It's don't applause. And you actually. I've lost so much money since I've been here in Texas. Dude. But you it's make more than you lose, or how does that yeah, work? Yeah, generally speaking, yeah. Right. That's how you make money. Oh, no. I know. But then you said that you lost a bunch. Yeah. So. It's not fucking cool, dude. <laughs> <laughs> it plays out. I get it. Uh, Darian. This is kill Tony, not kill Darian, bro. Let the king speak. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's uh, he's killing himself, Paul. It's Thank okay. You. Slow, <laughs> slow. Diabetes. Uh, this is incredible. So, how long have you uh, been a gambler like that for? Dude, actually, not very long. About a year, about a year and a half now. Oh, wow. It was like I started playing like right before the pandemic started, and then when the pandemic started, there was nothing to do, so I just started playing like a lot. I'm, I might just be on one upswing right now, and it's going to all come crashing down. Wow. But right now, fucking... You just keep winning at Texas Hold'em. Yeah. It's incredible. So I moved to Texas. Every house that you're in is a, uh, is a full house. Yeah. <laughs> you have a lot of trouble with your flushes, right? No. <laughs> hey Look at this guy. These are fat guy poker jokes. Stick with me here. Who's ready to go on a run? <laughs> no, I'm kidding. No, I'm kidding. I love it. So uh, that's fun. I mean, what's your favorite hand in poker? Oh, well, aces? You a look like hand? you have two hearts. Wait, oh. <laughs> 
and also four stomachs. Yeah. That doesn't Whoa. make sense, but... Look like you order the ten of club sandwiches. Uh, this is cool. Yeah, it's fun. <laughs> this is a real fun show. I'm trying to go as fast <laughs> as I can, but uh, so yeah, you yeah. can kill a couple seconds. All right. Uh, no, I'm kidding. Uh, so what else? You have a girl. Uh, you're married. married. What does your wife do? Uh, she's a teacher. Okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah. What's she teaching? She's know- teaching fifth grade math. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Right. yeah she's super Are you cool. smarter than a fifth grader? Yes. She's yeah. confirmed this? Yeah. I love She's it. not. It's wild that they let her teach. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Whoa! Uh, Whoa! Darian, you son of a bitch. <laughs> You're going to get in trouble for that one. <laughs> what do you guys do for fun? How do you keep it uh, funky in the bedroom, Darian? You seem like the kind of oh, guy that's... Oh, we don't. That's, uh, we don't. I just we, just... we just try and keep anybody from getting hurt is what we're trying to do. Right. <laughs> You're always on bottom then? Yeah, Tony. Yeah. I'm always on bottom. <laughs> she just... Always. Do you guys switch it up ever? Do you ever do like doggy style or piggy style or whatever it is with you? <laughs> That's very good. She squeals, not me. You know what I'm saying? Whoa! Oh, shit. Oh, come on. <laughs> what else? Do, what do you do for fun, Darian? What else other than poker? Uh, yeah, yeah, I mean, this and then this and Stand cars, up man. and poker. Yeah, man. This is, the stand is the most fun thing you can do. You know that. You know? Absolutely. Oh, yeah. how, much, how much time do you have? That I'd be comfortable with, like, 20, maybe. Wow. You know what I mean? I wouldn't take a booking for more than that, probably. Truthfully. You know take what I mean? a what? A booking for more than that, like, truthfully. Right. I mean, I could stand up here for an hour and fucking, you know, ask people what they do. You know what I mean? Yeah. What do you... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. You know what, Darian? I would love to have you on the Secret Show Thursday. Thanks, man. What, what's That's everybody awesome. groaning about? Thank you. What was that weird groan before? The- <laughs> Yo, can I make a, can I make a comment? I think the comedians are funnier in fucking Austin than L.A., dude. This show oh, for better. sure, definitely, oh. right now, I'm telling you. I mean, because, well, at least so far. Yeah. I mean, I've seen three comics, and they've all done good, because when I used to be on your show back in the day, it was always maybe one or two good, and there were other ones that were pretty terrible. Uh, just, a lot of the best, just wait, like, they're here. A lot I've of the best it. comedians uh, in the world moved to Los Angeles, and a lot of the most delusional comedians <laughs> in the world moved to Los Angeles as well. But, yeah. Uh, We've been lucky so far tonight. An incredible set from you, Darian Irwin, everybody. There goes Thank Darian. Thank you. Thank you very much. We're Thank on you. to the next one here. Darian underscore Irwin underscore comedy on Darian. Darian, you get a big book, buddy. There you go. That's a cookbook. The first ever Kill Tony cookbook goes to Darian Irwin. All your favorite Kill Tony recipes all in one book. You guys having fun out there tonight? All right. Can I get a tequila shot? Absolutely. What kind of tequila would you like? I like some uh, Casamigos or something. Or... Casamigos, absolutely. Josh, you want one? No. Your next comedian is Jimmy Stealth, everyone. Jimmy Stealth. This should be exciting. We remember Jimmy from a couple of old school Texas episodes. See what happens here. Here he is, one more time for Jimmy Stealth, everyone. Thank you. I just want to have sex with a woman whose ass is so big, her name is Fanny. Y'all remember when women used to get named Fanny back in the day? Does anybody know any women named Fanny? Oh, you do? Okay. Tell Fanny this song's for her. This bitch ass was so big they called her Fanny. She rode a little sailboat down to Miami. She got fucked by a whale. His tail took down the sail. So the captain had to sail back using Fanny's panties. (laughs) Thank you. I think I spoke too soon. I just want to have sex... I just want to have sex with a woman whose ass is so big she scratches it like this. What if we really could shut our brains out? Wouldn't that be crazy? Well, well, well. Uh, it appears think... as though the tides have turned, Polly Shore. I'm sorry. It's a little Casamigos <laughs> for you. That was like a fucking stock, dude. Yeah, that was. It was incredible. just up and then all of a sudden went. But he, tr- you know, I mean, he looks like a me- cool mechanic, probably. Yeah. Right? Yeah, you, or, he does. Do you do that side no, work? No, not at all. 
What do you do on the side? I'm retired. I, I drive Uber, though. You tried the Uber? <laughs> I, they, dri I drive Uber. Did you hear in Vegas they have a new topless Uber company called Boober? Anyway. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Do I need to, do I need to give you 100 bucks after that? <laughs> yeah, I need my 100 bucks. <laughs> Uh, so, Jimmy, uh, wow, that was horrible. Thank just you. Just to let you know. Thank you just very so much. that we're clear here. Thank you. It's just absolutely as bad as it gets. A Thank girl you. with a big butt named Fanny. Remember anyone named Fanny? I mean, at one point, I heard D Madness literally respond to one of your jokes. I think like, he knows the girl thought, named Fanny. He got so quiet in here, D Madness thought you, you and him were just here having a conversation. <laughs> You're like, is it, you ever meet anyone named Fanny? D's like, uh, no. He, he forgot that there's hundreds of people around. You were able to manage to make him forget that we are at a live show. I mean, he literally answered you. Uh, so you said that you, you're retired, and then you said that you drive Uber, which to me sounds like the fucking opposite of retired, right, by the way. Right, right, right. It's mean, just a little extra like, spending money. That's if that's all. what retirement is, I don't ever want to retire. So what did you retire from? I used to work for the Federal Bureau of Prisons. Oh, that's right. The world's tiniest prison guard. Yep. How could I forget... <laughs> How could I forget about yep. you? This guy, responsible for every escape ever. This fucking guy is out there fucking... <laughs> seem like you're out there with one of those paddle things with a ball, just doo-doo-doo. I can't even do that. I'm not even good at that. Really? What are no. you good at, Jimmy? Uh, well, I guess not comedy, huh? Jimmy, don't try to start making jokes now, okay? Oh, just tell shit. us what... My bad, my tell bad, us, my answer bad. Answer the questions. All right, Jimmy, tell, I asked you... Who, I asked you, wait, what did I ask you? I don't even remember. What he is good me, at or what you are good at? What I'm good at? Um, I don't know. I'm pretty good at training my dog, Baxter. Okay. Yeah. What, did you, what have you been able to train Baxter to uh, do? He can, uh, uh, let's see here. Now you're going to put me on the spot. Wait, wait, oh, the last shit, thing, dude. The last thing uh, I did, uh, uh, he can catch like a tennis ball like from really far away. And uh, he can go in the water. Because I just moved here last week. So he's like going out in the water now and swimming. And so I'm just working with him and doing stuff like Is he swimming the opposite? Or is he trying to get away from you? Not yet. Not yet. All right. That's fun, Jimmy. So you got a dog. So I'm guessing you're single, right? No, no. Oh, another married I've man. I've been married 26 years. Wow, that's so cool, Jimmy. Thank you. Hell yeah. I love it. What does she do? Uh, she does, uh, we have a company called uh, Techstar Wastewater Services in Houston. So we do installs, maintenance, and repair on septic systems. Oh, Remember my dad yeah. was here? I knew he was... I knew I could tell he worked like under some shit. Yeah. No, yeah. No, I knew you feel... Like, can I feel your hands for a sec? <laughs> He's got shit. Oh, wow. They're actually softer than I expected. <laughs> okay. Well, he kind of looked at me like I was one of his prison cells, dude. Hell yeah. He's like, Remember my mm. dad was in Chicago talking about septic on the Chicago show? Yeah, that makes sense. Absolutely. I, I would have guessed that... Uh, I would have guessed that... So what? So you've been you've been working in prisons, and you're not working in prisons anymore. No, I re COVID messed me up. How long dude, did so you work in prisons? Twenty for? years to the wow, day. Exactly. That's sick. Yeah. The you same see day. some crazy shit. What'd you yeah. see in there? Uh, I'm not allowed to talk about it for two years. Or the <laughs> all right. How about the week? shitty wastewater business that okay. you work in? Yeah, remember tell my some, dad was here talking about no, nobody remembers. Let's just pretend like okay. we've never met, Jimmy. Okay, yeah, okay. No one remembers your grandpa from 200 episodes ago. Okay, sorry. Come on, stick with me here. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah. So okay. tell us about the shitty wastewater business. Uh, well, you stick your head in a hole, and you see how much water's in there, and if there's too much water, you got to figure out how to get it out of there. <laughs> Fuck. Dude, if I, had, if I had that job, I'd be writing the best jokes in the world, man. I'd be like, anything to get out of here. You're, you're, you have your head in literally a shithole, and you're thinking about... Fat asses named Fanny and shit like that. I thought Fanny was good. You're I still thought thinking that today. about asses and assholes. I thought Fanny would be a good joke. I really did. I came up with that today. I'm like, oh, I'm gonna get him with this joke. I'm gonna kill. Dude. I really did. Dude, that one belongs in the septic tank. Bro. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that was sure. corny. <laughs> okay. All right. Red band. <laughs> Disgusting. Jimmy, what's the creepiest thing about you? Um, probably. I like fat asses, I would imagine. Really? Yeah. But you're a married man. What do you do with these fat asses? You, like, uh, memorize yeah, them? Yeah, yeah. It's just, you know, Pornhub and all that. Oh, okay. They're his best customers. Okay. So when you go to Pornhub, what exactly do you type in? Um, usually stepmom porn. I'm looking at... St I've had, like, five stepmoms, so... Yeah. You've had, like, five stepmoms? Yeah, I've had five stepmoms You seem a little life. bit old to 
have over my whole life. Like my dad, which you don't remember, he got divorced like five times. So I had five stepmoms. So growing up, I might have been in their hamper smelling their panties. I ain't gonna oh lie shit, dude. For real. And don't act like none of you motherfuckers ever did. I know some of y'all was smelling some and dirty it, and panties. And at your too. height, it must be weird having to reach over the hamper to get the panties out. <laughs> Smell them. Then, yeah. you, then you have to shoot it back in like a basketball. <laughs> For those of you just listening to the podcast, Jimmy Stealth, uh, amongst his many jobs, is also the vice president of the Lollipop Pop Guild. Guild. Uh, yeah. 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 Always. You have yeah. such a munchkin face, you son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I've been on this show three times, and you said that same joke about me every fucking time. You're goddamn time, right, man. and I always Lollipop will because Guild. that's I'm what that's what specifically you look like, Jimmy. Right, that's I exactly know. That's what fine. you look like. So what you're saying you. is, is like that's exactly what the fuck you look like. Last time you called me, last time you said I look like a full abortion. There you go, Jimmy. I had an abortion. Jimmy's show. one of the only people that comes up here and only wants to talk about his last appearance on the show. He's like, you might not remember this, and you also might not remember this. I'm sorry. My dad, this joke. I like well, he you... died. That's why. You met him, and now he's dead. So I thought maybe... Oh, yeah. Yeah, Jesus, yeah, Jimmy. Yeah, can yeah, you make yeah. this any more depressing? No, My no, God. no, no, no. Well, rest in peace, Dad. Was it COVID that got him? No, you got your slide rule ready, Red Band? Your slide Jimmy, whistle? Jimmy, Jimmy. Jimmy, stick with me over slide here. Whistle. He wants to produce the show and be part of it. He wants to sit here, dude. Jesus fucking Christ. Well, it's That's not cool. My father... Was hit head on by a red cement concrete truck. <laughs> Thank you. I dreamed about let it, let, that day. Let, Jimmy, let, let Red Band do the sound effects. I've dreamed about this day. He was hit head on by a cement truck? Head oh, on, wow. straight on, cement truck. Jesus, how old was he? On a motorcycle. Oh, shit. Oh, he was on a motorcycle? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Sucks. Well, at least you know he died. I thought you'd remember him and like, right. talk about it. I'm sick it of you. There he goes, all Jimmy right, Stealth, everybody. There he goes, Jimmy Stealth. Here. Jimmy, there you go. A small joke book for Jimmy Stealth. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to bring a regular up. Known for his incredible joke writing and roasting abilities, make some noise for the great and powerful David Lucas, everybody. Here we go. Here he is, live in the flesh. The great David Lucas. Yeah. What up, what up? Am I the only person that when they go to the airport judge people when they go to stupid ass locations? <laughs> like, nigga, you going to Milwaukee? <laughs> and you on Spirit Airlines? <laughs> Hey, it better be a fucking funeral. That's all I know. Like, you better not be going to a fucking wedding, nigga. That's, if my friend got married in Milwaukee, I ain't going. You know what I'm <laughs> Spirit Airlines is the worst airline in the world. I, I'd rather ride a horse across the country than... <laughs> like, no, Spirit Airlines is so ghetto. I got on one of their planes one time, and the pilot asked for gas money. <laughs> He was like, if everybody give 20, we'll make it. I'm like, it was a plane full of folding chairs. I'm like, is this a cookout, nigga? Like, what the? I looked in the cockpit, and the nigga had the way zap up. I'm like, what the? F <laughs> All right, y'all. Thank y'all, man. The great David Lucas, everybody. Bringing the show back to the comedy portion. Yeah. Always consistent. Yeah. Always a home run hitter. Nigga told it, boy. I My like, man. You're looking good tonight. I like this look. You too, nigga. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Is this a compliment off we're having for the no, first no. time ever? I gotta say. You look like the original gay man. Oh, you know what? I thought we were gonna be nice to each other for a second. You tricked me. Oh, yeah, nigga. You, start, <laughs> you, you started gay, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. That motherfucking jacket on, boy. You got a motherfucking Mexican seat cover on. Oh my god. <laughs> Jesus. That is not nice. <laughs> David Lucas has been busy. You're headlining Pittsburgh coming up. That's yeah, so cool. Pittsburgh Improv. He performed at a Miami apartment building a few weeks ago. Maybe you guys heard about that. He was on the 20th floor. <laughs> 
Yeah, you yeah. son of a bitch. Hey, boy. I go, I go on his, uh, what is it, the fa- is it FaceTime or Instagram Live? Oh, you go on my Instagram Live, hell yeah. Right, boy, bro, Polly. we check in and make sure you're okay, that's right? That's my dog, Polly, hell yeah. yeah. That's, that's my Right. <laughs> the second I lock in, you're oh, shit, there's Polly, and then we start talking, right? Yup. Yeah, and then I start touching myself. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, oh, shit, there he is, motherfucker. Hey, there's man. the motherfucking brother. <laughs> <laughs> For those of you that don't know, David does hilarious Instagram lives. One of my favorite parts is that his arms are so short he can't get his whole face in the uh, in the frame of the thing. He's got a big face and short arms like a Tyrannosaurus Rex over here. When you do a Instagram live, all you see is a right booty cheek. Come on, that's not, that's in the background. Yeah, that's yeah. Not. The only way you can call somebody is with a butt dial. You son of a bitch. <laughs> When you butt dial, you go through the whole phone book. <laughs> Trying to think of yellow pages. You go through the whole yellow pages yeah, of your butt you got, dial. Yo, you got all the comedy store people here. Yeah. No, so it's I, unbelievable. Heard, I heard Don Barris is moving to Austin. He's going to come visit. That's what he said, soon, right? Don's sure. coming out. Brian Holtzman's already right. here. Yeah, where's fucking Brian? Is He'll he be here Friday. He yeah, he's coming right back. Now, he he went on the road as well. So yeah, deal. David's been doing a lot of work on where's the road. Po- where's Posen? He, they're, they're all here. He's yeah. around here. They're yeah. all, all around. Right. Post like Derek. Me and Josh, you want to move to Austin or what's up? Come on, Josh. Come on. What do you think? Bring your ass. Come on. Yeah, if David could bring his ass. You can definitely bring yours. Yeah, Josh, we can be roommates. We can move down here to Austin with everyone. David had to <laughs> if double if check. If that's the his... situation, then I'm good in L.A. I don't want to live with oh, you. No. He really knows how to bring a crowd to a ruckus here. Uh, <laughs> Uh, David, uh, another very fun set. What else do you have coming up? What else do you want to plug? Uh, You're doing Pits- the road, the rocky road, every kind of road. Uh. <laughs> Pittsburgh Improv, July 25th. You know what I'm saying? Headline. My first eight club, I'm headlining, man. You know and what that's I mean? where? When? July 25th, Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh, that's huge. Pittsburgh Improv. The friends of mine out in Youngstown, make that hour-long drive. Go watch David do a long set. I Hell bet you're yeah. going to light up everybody in that 45 audience. minutes, baby. If you oh. in that splash zone, nigga. Oh, shit. Goddamn <laughs> right. By the way, check out, if you haven't checked out, David Lucas and William Montgomery were hired to sell a house yes. in a real estate yeah, it's commercial. Incredible. Check out their Instagram. And it is so fucking funny, man. Yeah. Check that out. Hey, all y'all producers listen and give us a fucking movie. Shit. There you Paula, go. Paula, you know somebody. You just had a... A movie dropped during the quarantine. What's up? No, you're very talented, bro. And I just got to figure out who's going to finance it because I gave the guy my 200 bucks. <laughs> I am. I'm just starting to fucking think maybe. You still owe me 500, bro. That's from what? From uh, the St. Louis show. Jesus, that's... David. This what is not how the show business works. <laughs> Wait, Wait, did we do the St. Show, Louis? We didn't. Killer. You told me, oh. and I took off work. And I got two kids. Shit. Oh my God, David. <laughs> yeah, pull that 500 out. <laughs> hey. Yo, I'm not going to have any Coke money for later. <laughs> <laughs> uh, cocaine's free out here, Polly. Uh, shit, okay. No, whoa, whoa. You, 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 you could, you 25 20s, man. Ven- Venmo on Polly. It's okay. <laughs> Gotta sell some Encino Man shirts tomorrow. I mean, <laughs> gang, gang, no. Nah. Some wheezing the juice, buddy. Crusty hats. <laughs> nah, bro. Pauly, you always good in my book, bro. You always good. Hell yeah, Pauly Shore's a fucking legend, dude. What I'm, are you I'm, talking about? He's always hey, good in your book. You don't even have a book, David. It's a fucking cookbook. Hey, my boy just made me a book last week. Bonsai. Cook, cookbook. That's okay. what I said. All right, anyway, we'll keep moving along here. Uh, <laughs> David, you're an absolute fucking legend. Again, you did it again. Another brand new minute. 15 seconds from the great... David Lucas, everybody, come on. All right. Now shit can get wacky again, because back to the bucket we go. Your next comedian goes by the name of Zachnor Pow. Zachnor Pow, everybody, has been selected on Kill Tony Live in Austin, Texas. Here he is one more time for Zachnor Pow. I was the angry black dude in college. That was me, I admit it. Uh, kids would ask me dumb liberal white things. Hey, Jacques, what are your pronouns? And I'd be like, Because <laughs> you can't say it, so don't talk to me. 
My professors would ask dumb things too. Does anybody believe in being PC? And I'd be like, I believe in being PC, professor. Oh, really, Jacques? Yeah, I believe in punching crackers. <laughs> crackers, coons, cunts, whatever works for your context. As you know, it's all up to you. I do think there's one person we need to cancel, though. That's one, that's one thing I do believe in, cancel culture. There's one thing. There's this one dude. Y'all know I'm talking about the dude from the 1960s. He was a walking womanizer. He, was, he walked and cheated during the 60s. Well, uh, Martin Luther King Jr., my bad, Martin Luther King Jr. <laughs> He, he, he walked and cheated on his wife. That's, he fucked a lot of white women. But I don't blame him. The dude was stressed out. A lot of pressure. He, was, he died 33 looking 53. That's all I'm saying. Hell yeah. Zach Knorr. Am I saying that correctly? One more time for Zach Knorr, everybody. Another very fun set. Zach Knorr? Uh, Jacques Knorr. Jacques Knorr. Jacques Knorr Poe. Fuck yeah. That's a cool name. Thank you. Z-S-A-K-N-O-R. Z-S-A-K-N-O-R. Is that French? It is not French. I'm not Cajun. I'm from Louisiana, though. Okay. What part yeah. of Louisiana? Baton Rouge. Baton Rouge, Louisiana. We have a couple friends from uh, our favorite okay. band, Nether Hours, playing right after the show. Uh, uh, so, uh, Zach Knorr, how long have you been doing stand-up? About two or three years. Okay. What do you do for work? Uh, motion graphic designer. Okay. Cool. You've been yeah. getting work during this pandemic? Yeah, I've been doing work and been doing some documentary work, too, during the pandemic. That's okay. Great. Very yeah. cool. You seem like a good-looking guy. What's your love life like? Yeah. Single as can be. Polly agrees. Very, very handsome. Thank you. You're, you're <laughs> Polly's type. <laughs> Uh-oh. He's moving farther back. He's afraid you're going to throw your cock at him or something like that. <laughs> Uh, so Jacques Noor. Yes, yes. Absolutely. Motion graphic designer. Been doing it a couple few years. Uh, single as hell. How do you end up single? By choice. Okay. So you get around sometimes here and there? You... Depends when I want to. Yeah. All right. Okay. Hey, can I ask you, I was uh, in Vegas the other night with some, hanging out with some black people. And, um... Uh-oh. And uh, they well, you said... You took a wrong turn or something like that? <laughs> And he said to me, the, the black guy, I'm like, dude, you guys are getting all the pussy because I see this uh, video's black.com. Uh huh. Have you seen it? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, like, like you. The only get, person you, in this room who hasn't seen it is D Madness. Uh, everybody watches that. <laughs> so, so do, you, do you just have sex with white girls or black girls too? No, I'm team black and brown. Oh, straight oh, up. Okay. Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'm not in a white woman like that. That's just not my thing. Have okay. you tried it? I have. It gave me a nightmare. <laughs> really? Oh, my God. Interesting. Wait, you just, so now sometimes you sleep, you just see a fat white ass coming at you, and, oh, no. What, what made it give you a nightmare? What happened? Uh, met this white girl. It was back in Brooklyn. Uh, met this white girl. It was cool. We had, you know, had some drinks, went back to her place. Then we, after we fucked, I slept over and I had this like weird nightmare about my high school experience and I woke up in a cold sweat wow. and I felt it was like my ancestors was like, that's not for you, dog. That's not for you. Wow. wow. What happened in my high school? <laughs> that's not for you, dog. What happened in high school? High school. Uh, I, uh, I'll say it like this. I went to the same high school school Lil Boosie went to. That's the same type of high school. Kevin Gates type of hood high school. So it was a lot of just dramatic hood shit all the time. Okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah. All right. Like, what, what type of stuff? So these people, these boring white people can fathom uh, what you're talking uh, about a little bit. Uh, um, shit. The first, the first two months I got there, there was this cute girl I was into, like, across, this, across like, the aisle on the bus. Uh -huh. And she left her phone there one day. Someone Let me ask you this. If you're going to an all-black school, who yes, sits sir. in the back of the bus? Everybody? <laughs> it's just doing wheelies all down the street, the bus. <laughs> if you're not laughing at that, you can get the fuck out if you want. I'm encouraging you. Okay, Jacques Noir, I'm sorry. Go ahead. It's all good. Wanted to squeeze the joke in there. Nah. Uh, somebody picked up a phone, and it turns out this girl was, like, fucking this older dude, and she'd re recorded it and left videos on her phone, and so the videos, like, went kind of viral around the school, and people kept dropping them like they were like back behind the scenes and director's cuts videos. So we would all get new videos every other week of them fucking in the dance room. 
But then we realized the dude that she was fucking was on was like over age, like he was like 19. So the dude got arrested like in front of the school, like within like a month. Like they actually, but they had found this dude. Yeah. Oh. And shit. the thing is, I knew I knew both of them. I was cool with him too. So it was like it was it was what, shit what like is, that. Yeah, but what does that have to do with you not wanting to fuck white girls? <laughs> I don't understand, bro. That is Because I'm true. just trying to mention the fact that I was in Las Vegas with some black dudes and they love having sex with white girls. Let me ask and you. And then it got into that shit. I didn't want to go there, bro. No, I agree. I'm going to go get some sandwiches. <laughs> no, they're not ready yet. There's no sandwiches made yet. You want one, though? You want some charcuterie? Okay, we'll have some ribs later. Uh, let me ask you this. So... Mm-hmm. You wake up at that white girl's house that one night that you hooked up with one and slept over. Does she try to make you breakfast? Does she just give you money? I've heard of this happening to black men that hook up with white women. It, white ca- women just start immediately taking care of you it's guys. It's called D-tax. D-tax. You don't have to the fuck dick a... tax Hold on, bro. hold on, hold on. You don't got to fuck a white girl to have her make breakfast for you in the morning. Black girls make you breakfast, too. If you got the right game, a lot of people can make you breakfast. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> You got the right game. Okay. What's, what's the wildest, what's the breakfast that you remember the most? The next morning breakfast. Because it seems like you're really speaking from experience with all of your exotic, exotic breakfasts. Uh, no, I had one girl make home fries, like, just, like, but just, like, from scratch. Like she had French the fries? Like, home fries. Like, like, w- like waffle fries? No, home no, fries. Home fries. Like home when you take a potato yeah, home fries. and you cut up. I mean, I mean, like, what home like, fries. Like chunks of potato? Yeah, like yeah, what are yeah, we yeah, calling yeah, this? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Chunks of potatoes. Chunks okay. of potatoes, yes. Okay. And that's the one that you're like, damn, this might last more than just one. <laughs> she has a freezer? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> she goes shopping? That's amazing. Oh, no. There's no way she cut those potatoes that no, morning. She, you no, know she that, did. Right? She really? Did. Yeah. She cut the potatoes? She cut the potatoes, fried them up. So oh, okay. I, I see what's going on. I, now I know what home fries are. I just pictured it. Yeah, that yeah. seems easy. She throws them in the frying pan with some oil, flips them around, salt and pepper. She didn't soak them in water yet, though, so too starchy. Probably. Yeah, but it, look, I appreciated the effort. <laughs> I appreciated the effort. All right. That's very interesting. We've never talked about next morning sex breakfast before on the show, so... <laughs> It's a fun thing to get to cover. Have, have you, uh, what's, uh, you, you said you're a brown girl, so you're into Latino girls a lot also? Yeah. Wow. Do you have any special skills or talents or anything like that? Uh, <laughs> uh, <coughs> Uh-oh. I draw. I uh, draw. Uh, what else? My first love. I feel like that's the second thing you were going to say. There was a first thing that... No, I was going to say music. Like, I make music on the side for fun. What type of music do you make? Just like hip-hop. Really? You yeah. rap? Yeah. If, if you have one of your beats online right now? Yeah, uh, it's on my the Bandcamp page I have. Bandcamp. Uh, Bandcamp. Here, here we go. How do we find that? What's it under? Uh, blank Children Bandcamp. Blank Children Bandcamp. Hopefully, maybe it'll come up. Hopefully it will. Yeah, I think it probably will. Blankchildren.bandcamp.com? Yes, that is it. So if we played something, would you do a little something for us? What would we play? American uh, Blues? No, no, no. Can, I, can I dance next to him when he does Absolutely. it? Is that cool? Wait, which one? I don't. Oh, yeah. What do, we, mean, what do we look at? No, up? but I'm not oh. gay, bro. I'm just cool. We're cool, right? No, okay. Wait, hold on. I'm not going to touch your D, bro. We're good. We're straight. No, well, I'm thinking, do I have to pick something danceable then? Because I don't have anything danceable. Well, right. We can okay. dance we together. You, he's going to dance no matter We're what. We're going to dance okay. next to you. Not I be... got my pink shirt for you. Polly's okay, okay. dance isn't going to be quite as elaborate as you think it's going to be. It's the it's the one the flying one the, yeah up above that yeah that one okay and uh, the pick the track don't worry don't worry all right here we go you guys ready to see Jacques Nor Pal do a little show for us Austin I said are you ready to see Jacques Nor fucking do a little song for us come on <laughs> sweet baby sweet baby come on polish your whole dick. And he's holding on for my life Sweet baby I'm gonna party You looked at me weird, bro <laughs> It is happening life. Sweet baby Sweet baby Don't give me nothing but tears Y'all don't give me nothing but fear. I don't worry. 
I don't worry. All right, all right. Jacques on- Nor Powell, everybody. That's great. Are all your songs like that, like simple and not complex at all? I thought you were really gonna. Uh, that was the intro. If you would have kept going, that would have been a. Is there a part it. where he like speeds up or something, or like? No, uh, no. I just that's the. All right, anyway, that was fifty percent into the song, right? So <laughs> like, that was like a whole other part. But it's no, know, it's, it's all, not, it's all good. We got a time limit. It's, no. Next time, right, Jock Nor? We'll get, we'll find a better track next time. We'll bring this place to a fucking ruckus. No, it was good. D Madness approved of it. Absolutely. I just saw Jacques Nor literally go in for the fist bump, by the way. Pa- at least Polly was kidding. You forgot for a second. No, it's just, just like <laughs> black. It's just like of the course. black thing to do. I get it. I know it's a black thing. Black just because I'm wearing this jacket doesn't mean I don't know what cool black things are. Mm. All right, Jacques Nor. Very fun set. Uh, nice Thank to you. meet you. Come back, do the show again. Jacques Nor, pow, everybody. Jacques Nor, take one of these. Bonesai, Adrian Cavazos. Follow him at Bonesai on Instagram. Amazing work. Jacques Nor Pals on social media. Z S A K N O R. Let's keep it moving. Your next comedian goes by the name of Chewy Meskin, everybody. Chewy is here again. Chewy. It's okay. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Chewy. No Chewy. Okay. Sweet baby. Sweet All right. baby. Dalen Mendoka. Dalen Mendoka. D-A-Y-L-E-N. Here we go. Dalen Mendoza. Or Mendoka. Here he is. One more time for Dalen, everybody. All right. Hey, what's up, guys? How's it going? Fuck yeah, dude. Uh, my name is Dalen. I'm uh, from Las Vegas, Nevada, prostitution capital of the United States. Fuck yeah. Yeah, dude. Pretty dope. I, uh, I didn't really do my research before I got here to Austin. I didn't really like know anything about the homeless issue before I got here. And my city's got a lot of half-naked people on street corners asking for money. This city seems to have a lot of that, too. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't realize that. Uh, except you just can't have sex with these ones. That's the fucking problem. Yeah, it's kind of a stupid rule. I think we should do something called Prop B. We should vote on that. I don't know. I paid a guy $5 for a hand job the other day, and like, I didn't know he was homeless. I just thought you guys had bitching deals on hand jobs out here. That's what I thought. I was like, holy shit, is this fucking six trees of screw on Street? Where am I right now? I, uh, I love Texas, though. Like, everything's different here. You know, even the beer, the fucking beer is great, right? Oh, my God. Even the sound of opening a beer is different. You open a beer anywhere else, just regular, standard. You open a beer here in Texas, go, fuck Nancy Pelosi. I was like, oh, oh my God. This place is amazing. Yeah, dude. Okay, thank you. Dalen Mendoza, everybody. Hell yeah. Welcome to the show. Absolutely welcome. I, I think that last joke should have been his first joke. And, I then, th- and I think maybe the next jokes would have been. Yeah, I think uh, different jokes altogether would have been better. It's really what I think. <laughs> thank you. Dalen, welcome to the show. Thank Straight you. out of a Coles catalog. You are absolutely adorable. I mean, Jesus, just the Coles. plainest, whitest guy I've ever seen in my entire life. Thank I mean, you. you make me look exotic. <laughs> Hell yeah. Dalen, where are you from? Uh, I'm from Reno and Las Vegas, Nevada. Reno and Las Vegas. Yeah, so, most... how long were you in Las Vegas for? Uh, I was a kid, so I was there from 8 until like 12. Okay, yeah. 8 to 12. Yep. Where were you before you were 8? Uh, Reno. So I've been from Reno to Vegas. So Vegas, you were there when you were 8 to 12? Yes. Okay. And then where'd you move when you were 12? Uh, Back to Reno. Oh, back to Reno again. Jeez, things didn't turn out so well in Vegas, (laughs) huh? Nah, my dad moved back. Why? Why'd your dad move back? Um, He was a drug dealer there, so he wasn't really like... uh, I don't know. We just moved within like a week's notice, so I'm not quite sure what happened, but you know... As an adult, you haven't asked him, like, hey, Dad, what was all that shit about back in the day? I mean, like, he's in You seem right like the now, kind of so. guy that would never speak to your father like that, <laughs> right? Nah, dude. He's a scary guy, so never talk. Is he? Yeah, he's, he's in prison right now, so that's why I've never wow, asked. Wow, what's he doing in prison? Um, you know, just hanging with the boys, I guess. How I did know. he get... 
I don't know, man. <laughs> That's not really what I meant. That's not really. Oh, I'm not man. asking what's your father currently doing in prison. How did your father end up in prison? What did he get arrested for? Um, well, he, he assaulted uh, my ex-step-grandfather. Your um, ex step yes. grand That's the weirdest porn I've ever heard of right there. You, you hear yeah. of stepmom porn. You never hear of ex step grandfather porn. <laughs> it's the hottest porn. Yeah. Question Was it with a cement truck? <laughs> oh, hey. We're related. Yeah, that was my. Could have been. Could have been. No, he, uh, he head butted him. So. Wow. Yeah. And then the guy hit his head on the cement? He, uh, <laughs> No, no. I'm not, that wasn't a joke. I'm asking, like... You're asking for did real. Did he die from the headbutt? Because normally when no. people fall on cement, it's that so cement he's, one. So he's alive. He's good. The older guy. Oh. Yeah, he's okay. It's just a random assault? Um, well, it was like I mean, we weird... know he had it coming, but, but I mean, like... <laughs> yeah. But he ended up just fine? Yeah, he How was How long okay? your dad in jail for? Uh, he's been there for five years. Jesus, for yeah. one fucking headbutt? Well, he's done a lot of bad things, to be honest. Oh, so. okay. <laughs> I'm going to be real with you, yeah. He's a good. Wow. He's a good guy. Just makes bad choices. You know Do you I mean? ever go visit him? Um, not once. No. Are you ever his phone call? Um, I'm his only phone call for the most part. When does uh, that happen? Uh, can you call him at all? I think we no. should call him right now. That's what I was. I was Let's trust do it. Trust me. I wish we could have. I already looked into it. Yeah. You can't call him, right? Right. No. Yeah. Yeah. It doesn't work like that. No, that sucks. How about your mom? You close with your mom? Yeah, best. I love my mom. She's my best friend. Absolutely. Yeah. I love that. Yeah, uh, w- and what's your mom doing now that your dad's been in prison for five years? Who's um, railing her? <laughs> Who's fucking your a, mother? So they were never married. Um, okay. So I had a st- <laughs> I had a stepdad. Um, they are divorced now. Uh, my mom's not a really good one at picking them, but she's a great lady. So, you know, she's What nice. makes her a great lady? Um, she's just a fucking, she's really cool. She's been a single mom for like three of us for the most part. That's she's great. kind of picked some shitty you guys You have two sisters? So I have two younger sisters. Uh-huh. Uh, one is 12, one is nine. Uh-huh. I have two older brothers. One is 23, the other one is 22. He's a stepbrother. Okay. Um, yeah. What do you do for fun, Dalen? You seem like the kind of guy that has Pokemon cards and shit like that, <laughs> right? Dude, I, I used to. I was really into that shit when I, I was bet a kid. you fucking were. Yeah. But now, I used to fucking play video games all the time, but uh-huh. since I've moved here, I try to like get rid of everything and just focus When on... did you move here? Uh, April. April. So yeah. what are your favorite things about Austin since moving here? Uh, I love the nature here. It's fucking awesome. Yeah. Yeah. What do you really do for cool. fun? You go out in one of those like duck-shaped pedal boats and uh, <laughs> go down the river? Yeah. No. Hey, hey everybody. How are you today? <laughs> Beautiful day in Austin. <laughs> Um, no, nah, I've done the paddleboard thing. That was tight. You did paddleboarding? Yeah, that was cool. Okay. That was super cool. You must have blended in perfectly with every other paddleboarder <laughs> in Austin. Yeah. I look just like every single one of them, yeah. You're goddamn right. right. Absolutely. Why, why did you move to Austin from Vegas? Um, I moved from Reno. Um, okay, well, why did yeah, you Yeah, my move bad. Yeah, you're from right. From Nevada, that fucking dry-ass yeah, area of America, yeah. to yeah. Austin. What was Reno, the reason? Reno, Reno. Just... Reno already. <laughs> Just uh, honestly, just comedy. It's embarrassing to say, but yeah. Yeah. He moved here for comedy. Really? Yeah. There's no comedy in Vegas. That's true. <laughs> Polly Shore yeah, lives in Vegas. It's, it's now. pretty sad. <laughs> he put an end to all that. He told them, guys, let's just chill for a bit, all right? Yeah. Uh, you, you look like you're here for like a Mormon trip. <laughs> that is true. Yeah, dude, I used to know a lot of Mormons. I worked for a Mormon company for a long time. You worked for a Mormon company? Yeah, I, I sold furniture at this place called RC Willie. Wow. Shout out, yeah, they're yeah. pretty cool. Big shout out. I'm shout sure out. business is booming. Right now. <laughs> yeah, I'm not Mormon, but what's your love life like? You seem like um, the kind of guy that uh, thinks eating pussies a bit yucky. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but... it's okay. It... My se- my love life is not great. I'll be honest. No. I'm not a big. I don't know why. I'm just not super like. Do you get close? Or are you like? Oh yeah. Like you I'm get a- really close, but you just can't close. No, I'm just like a super. I'll just. I like someone. I like them a lot, and that's the only person I like. Oh, you know I mean? look at you yeah. with your big heart. No, that- it's because your mom's your best friend, bro. Yeah, dude. I know. You let the chickens too close to the coop, dude. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm talking about. So give us an example of uh, you, like, overly falling in love. Have you ever done anything, like, super lame, like, first date, first night, right after the first kiss? Like, so yes. is this forever or what? <laughs> like, what's the, what's the silliest thing you've done? Honestly, man, I fucking, I met one girl. 
Um, I met her one time, and then I bought uh, festival tickets for myself and her. She didn't know. Yeah, what? And I <laughs> what festival? It's called Gay Pride. <laughs> no, I'm no. kidding. Go ahead. It's called Night in the Country. It's out in Nevada. It's like just a big ass country co- thing. It's a fun thing that almost anybody would want to go to, right? Yeah, yeah sure. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> And I told her that I was like, hey, sorry, like, I bought some tickets for me and my friend. He can't go. Can you come? And I had known her for like eight hours. But wait a second. Did, did you buy, did you, you didn't really buy them for the friend that couldn't no, come? No, no. So I didn't want it to seem weird, so I lied. And I was like, yeah, my friend fucking fell out. <laughs> yeah. But wait, wait a second. Yeah. It was eight hours after you met her? Uh, it was, so I had hung out with her for like two, two dates total of like you know eight hours yeah and didn't really know her that well but i was like i fucking love this chick so I oh did my that. god yeah. you love her <laughs> yeah, the way dude. you said it i've never seen a man even do that before <laughs> <laughs> yeah it was true dude. you're so adorable you're no, such a man. sweet guy thank you appreciate it my god are you sure you're even into women bro <laughs> like you're such a sweet guy i feel like you deserve like a good little boy or something my brother is like for sure yeah so you loved her after two dates. Where were the dates? Yeah, like, what were we talking about? You guys went bowling once or no, do a movie dude. or what are we doing here? It was some dumb shit. We went to get, do you know what rolled ice cream is? Not really. Yeah, no, but, yeah, we, but someone's they dying like, of laughter because Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> it's as lame as I could probably imagine <laughs> it is. Yeah, they it's like, really it doesn't hey, Let's matter, roll up something, yeah. have an amazing date. How about some ice cream, uh, huh? Yeah. Fuck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You don't make that noise, but I hear it when you say things. <laughs> no, right, there it was. Wow. Yeah, oh, that's why I laugh, yeah. Got it out of him. Fuck yeah. All right, so rolled ice cream, and then what? What happens at the end of that night? You give her a little smooch on the cheek when you drop her off? You, you drop her off? Uh, no, dude, we just met there separately. You met at the rolled ice cream place? Yeah. Holy shit. Yeah. So there you are. You're both there by yourselves. You're at a rolled <laughs> no, ice cream no, no, place. No, no, no. We didn't meet there. We met. Se- we took different cars as well. Took saying. different. Oh, yeah. You guys yeah. drove separately. Yeah, we met on Bumble. Wow. So you yeah. met on Bumble, and was yeah. it your idea to meet at the rolled ice cream place? <laughs> yeah, oh <dude>. my god. <laughs> you god. are the straightest faggot I've ever met in my entire <laughs> life. And that's coming from me. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. That's Thanks. like that's the fuck. Call him the kettle gay right there. <laughs> Thanks, All man. right, so y- <laughs> thank you, Red Band. So you decide on rolled ice cream. Yeah. You guys drive separately to the rolled ice cream place. Yes. Then what happens? Um, then we hung out. We talked for <laughs> fucking yeah. Like what three what part hours. of that conversation do you remember? What do you, where do you remember like being um, like this is going my way or like this is going good? Like uh, what part? She, she thought it was funny that I. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> hey man, <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, dude. He keeps laughing at the funniest shit. Fuck, dude. Yeah, he's a dude surrounded by three beautiful women, and he's just looking at this loser. This is the know, only dude. guy that oh, thinks shit. you're a bigger okay. dork than I do right now in the room. He's sitting right there. Yeah, he's got fucking three chicks. No, with him, stick dude. with Fuck me man. over here. Stick pimp. with me. Don't, right, bother, don't bother the fucking people you're to right. pay for the good seats, my you're friend. Right. My bad, my bad. All right, so uh, what's the part of the conversation that you thought things were going good? Oh, I just told her that um, that my mom is my best friend. She fucking laughed right in my face. She laughed in your yeah. face. You said my mom's my best friend. She started laughing yeah, at dude, you. Yeah, dude, but it was like, Did she know. use the F word like I just did a minute <laughs> no, ago or anything no. like that? No, she just <laughs> laughed. She held she just, it in. She, she held in like, her actual thoughts. Yeah, she just uh, laughed a little bit. Okay, so... Uh, so that happens. So how does that date end? You guys are at the rolled ice cream place yeah. and you give her a hug? Uh, yeah, dude. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I know. I was like, fuck. Just I one hard hug? Yeah. Did man. you hold on to it for a few seconds? No, I, I wasn't trying to be weird because I knew, like, already. We I know could. you're not trying <laughs> to be weird, but I mean, I, I at know. this point, you're balls deep, rolled ice cream, yeah, mom's dude. your best friend. I I the only weird thing you could do now is, like, do a somersault and be like, goodbye! <laughs> <laughs> So what exactly was weird? Like, like, what was the goodbye? Two second hug, five second hug, eight was, seconds. Did you say something? It was like two, maybe three, and then I was like, "Hey, we should hang out again." That was all I said. Okay, okay, Red Dan. Okay, 
So that's day yeah, one. Maybe we should hang out again. Do you remember her saying something? Um, she was like, yeah, sure. Okay, yeah, yeah of course, said, exactly. Yeah. Then she, you, then she just it? speeds away. <laughs> 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 the role yeah. Like, yeah, maybe again. Goodbye. <laughs> while while the, during the hug, do you like sniff her hair? Do I sniff her hair? Y- yeah, just to try to get that smell. You I know? didn't. Should this I guy have? doesn't seem know. like a real sniffer. He seems like he would take a sample like for himself. <laughs> yeah. Little DNA. Yep. Sleep with it. Okay, so date two. How does it happen? How long do you wait before you message her after that Bumble date? My guess is... 20 seconds. Really? Um, was it? Uh, no, my guess is literally like four hours or so, right? That so night, like, hey, again, I had so much fun today. Just wanted to let you know. If you don't yeah. remember, I'm the guy from the rolled ice cream place. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was it was weird. So I didn't know this, but her, da- me and her dad worked together. We were coworkers. Oh, shit. Where yeah. at? Where were you guys working? It was... <laughs> Red band. Yeah, we, uh, so I was telling you, like, the place, the Mormon place, it was a furniture place called R.C. Willie. Mm. Um, yeah. Well, hi- well, hickory dickory duck, if I didn't forget <laughs> about that gosh darn furniture place all over again. Yeah. So. All right, so date two. Let's talk about it. You set it up, right? Yes, You're talking with one another. Where do we yep. go on date two? So in Reno, there's this thing called Art. Art Town, which is a stupid ass name. It's just like two no, weeks. No, you don't have to tell us. We know it's a yeah. stupid ass name. Keep going. <laughs> so you go to Art Town. Yeah. What, 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 what do you guys do there? What do you do? So there's like music and you know other events that are open to the public, and we just hung out. We she taught me how to salsa dance. That was Ooh, cool. Yeah. She really gave you a chance here. Yeah, she opened yeah. up the fucking gates. Yep. So right there, so you're salsa dancing for about how long? Honestly, dude, probably like only 15 minutes or so. Yeah, that's know. it? Jeez. Yeah, that was it. Yeah. Can, we see, can we see an example of the salsa dancing? I think that's a great idea, actually. That Josh, Martin. Josh knows the show well. Very rarely do I like it when guests pitch an idea yeah, okay, for so. a segment. But absolutely. Can we get a little salsa music oh, here? Hey! I, I, <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, my God. This is not Wow. Even my pussy got dry watching this. All right, all right, all right, all right. You are the whitest white guy of all time. I know, dude. My bad. That was a bad call out, dude. You should have known I can't fucking salsa. Salsa oh, dancing. Come on. Can you do any kind of dancing? No, dude. Right. Fuck Hell no. no. All right. So d- you're salsa dancing with her. You guys are having drinks? Um, no, I, I don't think so, no. You're not drinking at all. What do you, you, no. what do you have, like a, what are we talking about? What, why aren't you drinking? I don't even remember, to be you honest. You don't remember why you weren't drinking? Uh-uh. But you just don't drink. You don't drink? No, I drink, yeah. Really? What do you drink? Those little cartons of milk that they give you at school? <laughs> Those chalky Those milk. Little, I, I've been saving this, this for a long time. If you put it yeah, in the freezer, it'll last forever. <laughs> You fuck. Oh, look at this guy drinking a can of beer over here. Yeah, He's about to get drunk and pass out oh, from yeah. that what one that? sip. What is that? All right, we're in overtime. Jump I'm going to shoot it just for a sec, bro. Please. What, what? Let him have a little shot? sip. Here, do some shot of tequila. Oh, let's oh, yeah, face yeah, the yeah, audience. Face shit. the audience oh, when you do this it. This way. This way. All right. All right. You're about to watch a little boy vomit live on stage. Again, my prediction is... What the fuck? Whoa, pretty good, dude. Pretty good. He took the whole fucking shot. I was just supposed to take half. Oh. Wow. That's incredible. <laughs> He's hey, about to puke. All right. Back. He is. Like, I looked at it. I was like, that's a lot, dude. I don't think you want me to do that. <laughs> that was very impressive. You're going to be won. drunk for four days from that. <laughs> Okay, oh, so yeah. real quick, because this is, it's been 16 minutes with you. Somehow you turned out to be interesting. Uh, <laughs> So date two, you're salsa dancing. Yeah. You don't remember even drinking. What, how does it end? No, so I told her, I was like, hey, weird, you know, happenstance, my friend, he can't go to this. Happenstance? What yeah, the fuck? I don't know. Dude. I'm drunk, dude. Dude, Holy you shit. make pussies dry and dicks go soft. <laughs> it is incredible. You are the isolator over here. Just fucking, hey, uh, now that things are heating up, happenstance has a- like you don't, you should never say that yeah, word. You're right, you're right. You sound like a guy from Reno that's best friend is his mother. <laughs> hey, happenstance, you'll never believe. I just got these wonky festival tickets. Abadi, 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 <laughs> bling. All right, go ahead. What the fuck are we talking about here? Yeah, that's what happened. I was just like, hey, like my friend can't go. Do you want to go? Hold on, say the happenstance part with it one more time. <laughs> 
said, it happens, Sans. My friend can't go. Can you go? What did she say? She was like, um, yeah, sure. And I was like, holy shit. Okay. Holy shit is yeah, right. Yeah, she's fucking crazy. And then what happened? And then we went uh, with barely really knowing each other. We s- sat in a tent with each other for five days. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah, dude. fuck is wrong with you? You just sat in a tent like no, looking? No, no, no. We did the festival. We Wait, slept wh- together in the tent for five days. Did you guys cuddle? Yeah, dude. Whoa! Look how excited he got. Nervous. Look how excited he got. When's when's the last time you had sex with a girl? Um, it was in if February. You're a virgin, you I was in Miami. February in Miami. Yeah, wow! What terrible. happened there? I uh, so I went on a trip. I was thinking about moving. Yeah, we know either. you went to Miami. Yeah. We know you didn't just wake yeah. up in Miami. <laughs> so you went on a trip to yes. Miami. Then what? Let's fast forward a little bit. So I met a chick that I met here in Miami. She said, I'll fly you out. We'll hang out. We'll be cool. Okay. And uh, she turned out to be a fucking... She was crazy. Whoa, no yeah. shit, yeah. Sherlock. Wow. <laughs> I thought she I had it all together. Those chicks that fly you to Miami, normally, those are the ones making hey. Mormon furniture. You know what I'm talking <laughs> about? I can't believe it. She's yeah. crazy. Whoa! Did this yeah, chick? Was... Did this chick like look like your mom? She did not. Okay. But I appreciate it. You're like, oh, I love the chick. <laughs> she looked exactly like her. <laughs> oh my god. Thanks, okay, mom. so you're in Miami. You're realizing that the chick that flew your ass there is yes. crazy. Yeah. And then what happens? And uh, so she took. She picked me up from Fort Lauderdale Airport, and she yeah. was hammered when yeah. she got there. Of course. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Miami. Oh, I think shit. we all know this girl, yeah. by the way. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And Polly's then... been banging her for thirty years. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. It's not cool, right, bro? He's yeah, not been cool dude, to us. <laughs> That's not cool. Kind, we bro. should change the name of the show to Cuddle Tony, bro. Because <laughs> he's baby. Oh, yeah. I leaned into the cry <laughs> there. Did you see that? Uh, okay, so you're in Fort Lauderdale with a crazy yeah. girl. Then what happens? This is crazy. So this is the longest interview in the show's Sorry. history. But w- listening we, to you fuck this up and blow yeah. it for yourself is incredible. Yeah, so we drove all the way back to but Miami But you had Beach. sex with her. Let's get to the end of this. Yeah, so she's like super hammered she's taking a shit in with the door open and when we how do you know it's a shit because the door it was a very small hotel room the door was wide open i could see her from the corner you could how what, what, but you even if you see a girl on a toilet that doesn't mean you know she's can you hear it can you smell it dude we're within like five feet maybe oh my god yes this wow. is the cheapest miami beach hotel you can get okay yeah so she's taking a shit then what happens and then we go out to the water. It's like 2 in the morning. And she's like, hey, let's go skinny dipping. And I was like, I don't know. I'm kind of tired. <laughs> let's just go back. Because I'm a pussy. Wow. I know. You should have let her wash her ass, dude. Yeah. yeah. Red man. That's nature's a Disgusting. Yeah, good point. I'm a pussy. I'm a, I'm a little afraid of water. And I'm she like, wants dude, to go skinny dipping. And you go, well, I'm pretty tired. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah. that is incredible. We were not meant for each other, obviously. So. And then what happens? And then... We, I was like, nah, fuck this. And then she starts taking my clothes off, pushes me into the water, and I'm like pissed. Because I'm like, dude, I don't want to go in the water. Dude, this chick's like raping you. Yeah, dude. She's yeah. literally like, I did not fucking fly you out here to just take a shit in front of you and then you <laughs> fall asleep. Yeah. That's She's what taking cl- law and order. <laughs> Hell yeah, gentlemen. The band is with it. The band is in the game tonight. So she's taking your clothes off you, pushing you into the pool. Yeah, this is yeah. what it takes to get you laid, by the way. Dude, I, yeah. The chick literally has to take the fuck over. It's shocking. I know, man. I it's know. very easy to be taken advantage of, you could tell. Yeah. yeah. Like, he, like yeah. I gave him that shot, he just drank it. If I would have given him urine, he would have fucking drank it. <laughs> like, this guy yeah, will do dude. fucking anything it's, we tell him to. It's those ice cream roller guys. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, so you're in the pool, then what? Uh... It's it's the ocean. Oh my we are god! In the ocean. The yeah. pool is the ocean. There's dolphins getting their licks in before you do on this girl. <laughs> Literally yeah, so going then for it. We go back to the hotel, and she just starts giving me drinks, and I'm like, all right, fuck it. I'm already here. Like, this is what I came for. I'm sure. Yeah. So I was like, fuck it. Let's do it. And then what happened? And then we had 
really bad sex. <laughs> and <laughs> tell us, tell us what, why was it bad? What was so bad? You have to describe to us. She was very short. So she, she was, was short. Like, she was like four foot eleven. And so I'm, what? Are you guys trying to fuck standing up? You think no. that's the only way to do it? Oh, and we, so we started in the shower. That was the issue. Uh, and I'm not a strong. I'm not a strong guy. She wasn't very small for four eleven. Surprisingly. <laughs> So I had to like. She wasn't very what? She wasn't very small for four eleven. So I was. Uh, she was She's like four eleven, one twenty five. That's kind of big for me, dude. I'm not gonna lie. Oh my god. Yeah. So I was like, holy shit. You know, I was like trying to. Pick did you her think up. at all about? Uh, did you think? So you guys are facing each other, right? <laughs> no. No. You ever bent over? Dude, she was that short. She was that short that bent over. You yes. couldn't have sex with her. Yes, my dick. Your dick comes out of your belly button. Yeah, you just showed me. <laughs> I got fucking tall hips, oh my dude. God, I'm I have tall hips. Gonna... Hey. I almost <laughs> swallowed my own tongue. <laughs> At one point, he goes, "My dick comes out of here," and put the microphone up to his stomach. I don't know what happened there. What do you mean dude, your I dick comes out of there? Holly just got me drunk. This is the dude. longest interview yeah. in the history my of bad. the show. All I right. can't get away from All this right. guy. I feel like I could go on and on. All I want to. All right. <laughs> You are. He's the new friend of the show. Cool, man. He's our friend. He'll be our lackey. He'll go get us shit. Dalen, I yeah. was going to give you a small joke book, but you won me over in the interview portion hey, of the thanks, show. Dude. Get the fuck out of here. Dalen Mendoza. <laughs> yeah, let's do it. Let's go back to a uh, return to normalcy. Let's get another Kill Tony regular up here. Make some noise for him. Made a regular here in Austin, Texas. From... Texas. Ladies and gentlemen, Hans Kim, everybody. Here he is. The newest regular on Kill Tony. Yeah. Hey. What's up, guys? Good to be here. Uh, my family's pretty, pretty happy right now because my sister just got back from a mission trip. Uh, if you don't know what a mission trip is, that's when Americans go to third world countries to get new profile pictures. <laughs> She had a good photo shoot. Um, I, uh, I, I've realized that uh, if you've written a play, that's very impressive. And if you've performed in a play, that's very impressive. But if you've written and performed a play, that's not impressive at all. That's just a crazy person doing whatever the fuck they want to do. There's no white man in a suit telling you no. Anyways, here's some jokes I've written and performed. Um, I... Uh, I was talking to my white friend. He was like, dude, the only reason black people are bigger and stronger than white people is because we bred them as slaves to be that way. I was like, oh, why didn't you do that to yourselves? <laughs> Instead of giving a superpower to people who hate you. All right, thank you. Hans Kim, everybody, with a brand new minute. He's got to do this job every week. Not easy at all, debuting a new minute in front of the internet every week. How you been doing, Hans? I've been good. I've been uh, hitting the mic. I hit 20 mics today, uh, this week. Oh, wow. So. He's like the Dean Del Rey of Asians, bro. Yeah. It's he reminds true. me of the Earl Skakel of Asians, actually. He has like the very Earl Skakel. Skakel. Let's name more people nobody knows. Uh, <laughs> so to really bring this crowd We're just into a ruckus here. to connect with our friends back at home, so. Yeah, of course. No, our L.A. comic friends. Everybody knows Dean Del Rey and Earl Skakel, of course. Uh, Hans, so uh, let's talk about it. How's this week been going for you? You having fun in Austin? I've been having a blast. Yeah. Uh, I went to a pool party with all the cool comics, and uh, we, okay. uh, we changed together. It was pretty crazy. Whoa. Hans isn't afraid to change with the boys. We found out with about your three and a half, right? Is that what you said? Three and a half inches? Three and a half. No, Four five, and a half. Five and a half. Five yeah. and a half. Oh, okay. American average. Yeah. <laughs> Asian massive. Yeah. In Asia, that's called a black cock. Uh, <laughs> five and a half inches. Holy shit. And what's it, Hans, we never really ask you about your love life. What kind of girls are you into? You into Asian girls? I find that a lot of Asian guys are into Asian girls. They, they, they're set to default quite often, and they just go with what they know. I mean, who isn't into Asian girls? They're like the best. They're soft. They're small. And they do what, they tell, what, they do what you tell them to do. 
Where, Actually, we found out a lot about Hans Kim. He, he he's dating a girl right now. Uh, that's a comedian. A is that white true? Girl. Yeah. We, last I'm w- trying to pursue a comedian right now. Hey, how's that working out? Is it going good? Very terribly. I took her to a strip club. Oh, that's right. We did talk about this last week. That's incredible. Have you made any moves with her since then? Uh, I mean, we're cool now. Like, I think uh, we're cool now. So. Really? Not gonna take her to any more strip clubs. Have you gotten a land? Have you landed a kiss on her or anything like that? Or are you like Dalen Mendoza and just <laughs> go eating rolled ice cream and fucking it up? I'm like I'm like Dalen. <laughs> When's the last? Have you ever been with a white girl before? Yes. Uh, yeah, I mean, I used to date a white girl for six months. Uh, white girls are plentiful around America. But, uh, Thank you, Hans. I had no idea. I just got here super recently. I'm very excited to find that out, that white girls are plentiful here. <laughs> Happenstance would have it that that's uh, very interesting. I love it. Guys, this is your first time seeing Hans Kim, right? These are both... Uh, these are the... Uh, Polly is... Uh, yeah, I don't, don't want to say yeah. anything. There's an Asian with you on stage. I'm scared. No, it's a good thing. <laughs> It's a good thing. This is one of the good ones, Paulie. You gotta be nice to these fuckers, dude. Seriously. This is one of the good. This is one of the good ones. Uh, these fuckers. You know the. Uh, you know that's a rowdy, rowdy race. But uh, this is uh, <laughs> this is one of the good ones. Uh, Hans. Very angry, Whoa! Wait a sec. Wait a second. I'm changing my mind about him here. Hold on. I love it. Hans famously sang the national anthem to kick off the first Kill Tony back from my cancellation. Two weeks after my cancellation. Super canceled. <laughs> all my buddies are like, it'll blow over, dude. Just take a few months off. It'll all be good. I'm like, ah, how about two weeks? <laughs> I'm going to have Hans Kim sing the national anthem. Trust me, it'll be fine. They're like, what? And then I hung up the phone. <laughs> was it like the national anthem of like North Korea? <laughs> no, I had, no, I had him sing the American national anthem. He had to read from pieces of paper, but uh, <laughs> we, got, we got through it. It took a while, but we got through it. So Hans, what do you think it's going to take for you to bang this uh, American white girl comedian that you're into? Probably uh, testosterone. Uh... You think if we brought her on stage right now that she'd give you a big kiss? Have you kissed her yet? <laughs> Have you kissed her? Hans. Look at me. Have you kissed her yet? No. You haven't kissed her on the lips? I don't think she's here. Really? How, yeah. how about another white girl? You want to kiss another white yes. girl? Yes. Is there a white girl out there that wants to kiss Hans Kim? <laughs> Who wants Anybody? to kiss me? We have a great fan base here. I see a lot of beautiful women out there. Someone want to come down here and come on, get come downstairs, you dirty Please. whore. We're about to have some fun. Someone Is someone coming down? Is someone coming down? Oh, D Madness is gonna do it, everybody. Uh, <laughs> this is crazy. D Madness doesn't give a fuck. Whoa, here comes one right here. Look at this! Hit it! Oh shit! Come on, hit the fuck up. <laughs> Holy shit! Alright, stop. What the my Instagram is Mila Baby underscore XO. I'm a dancer in Miami. Hold on, hold on. Wait, we can't hear you. Are you from Miami? Did you take a shit in front of the last guy? No, I didn't. I'm half Orlando. Where so. did you come from? Were you were you born on Rainy Street? What happened here? She looks like she just walked out of bangers like that. No, I just, I just, I'm a whore. No. Oh. <laughs> Oh my god. What the my fuck? Mind, my mind is completely blown. For those of you just listening to the podcast, you're fucking up, man. <laughs> this chick was, tried to say goodbye, and Hans went in for round two and took it right to the dome. Hans Kim, you are a badass motherfucker. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Please, I have more to offer. Your South Korean parents would be so disappointed if they could see what you were doing here in Wild Texas. If you had white parents, they'd be so proud, but your <laughs> South Korean parents would be very dishonored about uh, you just making out with random white chicks with extremely hard, hard nipples, nipples, by yeah, the way. Did you see 
what? Wow. I mean, Jesus Christ. Looks like she already has a couple fortune cookies in her bra waiting for you, Hans. <laughs> Those, oh, those things were it. ruckus. I, I mean, my was, God, Hans. <laughs> that was awesome. Hell yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Wow. She seems wild. I, I think you went from hot and sour to cold sore. <laughs> <laughs> There's going to be a big something popping up. You know, on. What, you know what's cool? What's the girl that you like? What's her name? The girl that you talked about before. Oh, Isabella she, Charlton. Wow. Yeah. Well, she's going to see that, and you're going to get some <laughs> pussy because of that, dude. Because that me, chick, me. yo, that yeah. chick that was on stage was hot as fuck, bro. I don't know yeah. about that, Paul. Is there any chance Isabella's here? Isabella, if you're here, come to the stage. Let's have a talk with Isabella. That's the girl that he likes. Isabella, are you here? Is it really happening? Come to the stage, the Isabella. Come noise. to the stage. Holy shit, Isabella Charlton is here, everybody. Holy shit. Yeah. Holy shit. What a magical episode of Kill Tony. First of all, Isabella, a great comedian. She was on the show last week. She's been on the show numerous times, famously from England, has a funny take on our fucking country. I cannot wait to hear, to find out, to see what she thinks about this Hans Kim situation. Isabella, first of all, remind us all, Isabella, are you currently single? Yeah. Yeah. Whoa, that's a good start. Okay, Isabella. Uh, hand Isabella the microphone, Hans. Isabella, what do you think about all that's happening right now? I can't tell whether you have no idea what the fuck's going on or if you're really disappointed that Hans kissed a smurf before you came up here. Kiss him, kiss him, kiss him. Right, guys? Kiss him. Fuck off. Kiss fuck him. Off, kiss off, him. Fuck off. Fuck off. Fuck off. Fuck off. Isabella, what's your situation? You ever kissed an Asian guy before? Fuck have, off. Have you ever kissed an Asian guy? Look, you're in America. Yeah, I grew up you, in Hong Kong. Yeah, listen, you fucking Brit. You're in America right now. You're going to answer our questions. Yeah, lock the fucking doors. You have kissed an Asian guy, right? Yeah. Wait, we talked to you last week. Didn't you say that you dated an Asian gay, guy for a I while? I grew up in Hong Kong. I dated an Asian guy. I dated a Eurasian guy. Yeah. Oh, shit. He loves you. He okay. Loves you. So what do you think? Hans is a good-looking guy. He's I'm genuinely disgusted in him as a person. And he what? knows that. Why are you disgusted? By the way, take it from me. You can't say that any type of Asian person's disgusting anymore. Uh, I happen to know this for a fact. My grandmother called me and... Uh, <laughs> She told me that I fucked up, so. What, what are you disgusted in, Isabella? Help us to understand what's going on right now. His behavior, I can't even believe. I, I think that girl that was here should come on stage and kiss fucking her, bro. Whoa. Oh, shit, here she is. Oh. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 wait. Kiss Hans again. Kiss Hans again. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. What in the world is Hans is going in for four? Hans just keeps trying. <laughs> <laughs> what? What are you saying? It's the tequila. Sure, don't make any excuses. Hans, Hans, Hans has been drinking fucking sake all night, excited about this. <laughs> Isabella, I mean, look at this. This is a pretty fucking good-looking chick coming up here and taking your, uh, taking your dinner right from you. <laughs> Isabella, what do you think about this? Oh, I'm so upset. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no, don't carry him away. Don't, <laughs> uh, she don't put him in your pocket and run. Uh, go. <laughs> uh, it appears as though she wants to make out with both of you so badly. I don't know. I don't... Isabella's like, I'm, fuck no. I'll bet, I'll bet. 
<laughs> I'll bet your red band gives you a spot on Thursday at his. Uh, I mean, Isabella, if you want a spot on Thursday, uh, I'm no, doing a show here on Wednesday. Maybe oh, she will... you can open up for Polly. You can do the Death Squad show. I have COVID. Oh, she has COVID. Everybody, there you go. Uh, I love it. What are you two? Hold on, uh, Isabella, come back over to Hans. Just stand on the other side of him. It's okay. No. You can't. You. You can't catch whatever she has just by standing close to her. Uh, hell yeah. She just gave me the middle finger. I wanted to put a condom on it uh, so that nothing, nothing spreads. Hans is like, don't let him talk to you like that. Come here. I'll protect you. <laughs> they are just making out. These two, by the way, by the way, right now, Hans is like, Isabella, who? <laughs> Thank God. Oh, my God. He went from fucking Hogwarts to Pussy Warts over here. <laughs> yes. This is Kill Tony. All right, time hey. to fuck. There he goes. Hans Kim, everybody. Isabella, thank you so much. Isabella. <laughs> Isabella, take one of those just for a souvenir. And here's 60 seconds uninterrupted from Isabella Charlton. Go ahead, do it. 60 seconds from Isabella. We're going into overtime here tonight. Hey, guys. Um, yeah, my, uh, my dad's from India. Yeah, I know. I'm as white as the mold on a fecal sample. Uh, but yeah, it's super tough when uh, your parents brown and you're white, like especially when you're a kid. Like it's, there's such a double standard. Like if your mom's brown and you're white, people might think she's the nanny and it's terrible. But if your dad's brown and you're white, people think you're being kidnapped. <laughs> people kept coming up and asking me if I was okay. I'd say no. <laughs> My dad's an immigrant. He moved from India to the UK. Uh, and his big thing was he didn't want his kids to be gay. Yeah, and my brother, my brother hated scary movies, roller coasters, the color blue, uh, <laughs> football. So he thought my brother was gay. And I wanted my dad to love me, so I pretended to love scary movies, roller coasters, the color blue. Uh, and my dad was like, fuck, she's gay. Hell yeah, Isabella Charlton. You were on last week. Hard to do a set, not expecting it like that out of nowhere, but uh, but you got through it. That's fun. Got through it. Okay. All right. I like that joke. Uh, I'd, I'd shorten it up a little bit. You know what I mean? Tighten it up. You don't think you need all those descriptors and just fucking plow through it because that is funny. You trying to impress your dad and him thinking you're gay instead of he's gay. Yeah. It's always it's always hard to find how to get there the fastest. But that's a good solid joke that you have. Thanks. Uh, what's your writing process like? Uh, just, just like normally I'm walking and I just think about something and I write it down. All right. What's your fucking problem with Hans Kim, huh? <laughs> you think you were off the hook for that? I mean, by the way, that girl's already pregnant with his baby. Uh, I've never seen anyone get pregnant from a French kiss before, but that was fucking... Well, I don't want to say because I... I don't think what he did was legal, so... Like... <laughs> Wait, what was illegal about it? Well, we hung out at a strip club once, uh-huh. and he groped the stripper, and yeah. I thought it was not okay. Well, I mean... Well, you're being a general, so... Oh, it's... <laughs> <laughs> it's no... It's no touching. Unless you agree to it, it's no touching. No, uh, every mean, strip club look, in the world is touching, just so you know. Yeah, that's just, like, the rules, but they, every... They have to say no touching, but, uh, you know, I mean, uh, who says, uh, you know, it depends on the type of touch. The yellow, Were you at the Yellow Rose or the Red Rose? I can't remember. You were at a different strip club? No, it was one of those. It was the Red Rose? One of those. I yeah, it, was it, was one of those. it was Red Rose. Kaylee actually was the girl. Uh, Where's was Kay- it? Kaylee, are you, are, Kaylee, are you close? Kaylee, are you close? Kaylee, come up here real quick. Here comes Kaylee from the red rose, yellow rose, all the roses. Let's talk with her for just a second. Kaylee, sit on Kaylee, sit on Josh's lap and talk to us for a second. Sit on. You Josh's do not want to sit on this lap right now. Yeah, yet. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh shit! It says the second girl that got pregnant during tonight's show. Kaylee is currently the baby's going to come out wearing glasses. It's going to be adorable. Uh, Kaylee, grab Josh's mic for a second here. Uh, sh- 
she's whoa. She's saying uh, that uh, Isabella here, this uh, British girl who's Love way too voice. proper for the great states of America, uh, is saying that there's no touching at the Yellow Rose Red Rose whatsoever. What are your thoughts about this? There's absolutely no touching at any of the clubs. Oh, okay. Well, boy. All right. Sorry, we were wrong, everyone. Uh, Honestly, it's like you pay a little bit more money, you get a little bit more, right? But you have to you have to agree to it, no? Not always. I mean, like, <laughs> I don't know how many fingers have been up my butthole without me saying yes. Wow, look at that. At, there, one, at one, one time, right. at one time, more than 10 at once? I'm kidding. Uh, so uh, there you go. Kaylee, uh, is, is anything, what's the, what's the, uh, what's the, what will you let guys get away with? Like, what's something that. Okay, look, I've literally, like, gotten my man voice out been in the splits on the on the stage yeah and they touched my butthole i grabbed his hand i was like yo bro i'm finna slit your fucking throat and he still said sorry it was so like gentlemanly like All right. after he like i licked love his that finger he licked the finger that he put in your butt you gotta lick the finger that makes sense you gotta lick the finger. lucky that makes sense it's like the bottom of the uh, bottom of the powdered sugar I'm donuts you know board. what i mean if you, if you put I'm your hand in that bag board. you gotta lick the finger all right, uh, Isabella, so much fun. Thank you for the new minute. Uh, Kaylee, feel free to, uh, feel free. oh, there you go. Okay, there goes Kaylee from the Yellow Rose, Red Rose. What do you guys think? One more bucket pool? It's been a two hour long show. Do you guys really want to do one more? All right, one more. We'll make it quick. And then we'll close this thing out. Your final bucket pool tonight goes by the name of Jackson Fagundes, everybody. Jackson, here we go. I Come feel on, bad for make, his, his are you guys team. still having fun out there? Is this too long of a show? How we doing? Here he is. One more time for Jackson, everybody. Look, I work the door here, and I gotta say, some of y'all are fucking cunts, dude. If you're general admission, it's like begging a hand. If you're general admission, and you, <laughs> what's so funny, dude? Why are you wait? <laughs> Let me get through the joke. Look, I love how Joe Biden gets a rise in gas prices but can't get a hard on. It's like, dude, if you had a couple blue chew, we could probably fix this gas price problem. Thank you, my Democrats. Um, yeah, man, so I've been doing comedy for like four months. I got to say, my parents, they got divorced twice over quarantine, which was hell. And... You know, it was kind of a battle. And they got back together, thank God. But they got into that love phase, like when you hit 50 years old and now you're having sex again. And then all of a sudden it was like, thank you. Okay. There you go, Jackson. Bombing as hard as he <laughs> one can possibly bomb here. Came up with an entire... Oh, fuck me. Jackson. Jackson. Jackson came up here with an entire notebook full of shit. Didn't I look did. at any of it. Just started eating I did. it as I fast totally as bombed. he could. Eating it like a hot dog competition I totally on the 4th of July. Absolutely wild. You're tangled up in the mic stand. You were pumping the mic stand like an oil worker during your <laughs> set. Like you're Do you carry your manifesto with you at all times? Uh, it depends. I kind of carry like this merce and like when I'm working, just in case, if I get called up here, I'll carry it. You're real white trash. Where are you from? Oh my God, man. I'm from South Georgia. Okay. That's white trash. Yeah. All right. What do you do for work? Uh, I just got hired today as a tech sales agent. Okay. What does that mean? What are you going to do? Uh, so I like sell third party vendors. So basically I'm a, I work for other companies. They come to us if they need, uh, like a sales team to generate leads. And, uh, Jesus we sell Christ, Jackson. Yeah, you're boring so, as fuck. What's the most God interesting damn. thing about you? How can you turn this interview around quickly? Um, <laughs> you know, I'm a white dude. Who wears let, me, let me ask it again so that you understand. The most interesting thing about you, you have your entire life to reference right now. Uh, I got a midget cousin. That's pretty cool. I mean, the manager of the Red Rose, Yellow Rose is a midget. No shit. Uh, yeah, he was on the show last week, featured heavily. I mean, so basically I have a midget cousin too. Uh, so that makes sense. Yeah. What else about you? What are you, what are you, are you good at anything? Um, you know, I'm pretty good at like walking. All right. Uh, there he goes. Jackson Fagundes, everybody. That's <laughs> Thank the end of Jackson. That's his set.
You guys ready to end this show with a bang? All right. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the longest standing regular in the history of Kill Tony. This is the Big Red Machine, William Montgomery, everybody. Oh, shit. Woo! Come on, people, one more time for your final comedian of the night, William Montgomery. Many people don't know this about me, but I have a huge following down in Tamaulipas, Mexico. <laughs> Unfortunately, they don't always understand everything I'm saying, so I brought my translator. Uh, give it up for my translator, y'all. Interpreter, Daddy. Ain't nothing trans about me. <laughs> we didn't agree you could say that. What are... What's the deal with Senator Ishmael Garcia Cabeza de Vaca? That dude knows how to eat some tacos. It's like, come on, Ishmael, where are you from? Tamaulipas or Brownsville? ¿Qué pedo con el senador Ismael Garcia Cabeza de Vaca? Ese güey sabe comer tacos, que no? ¿Qué onda, Ismael? ¿De dónde eres? ¿De Tamaulipas o de Brownsville? I like Velcro condoms because they're easier to put on and they're thicker. Me gustan los condones de Velcro porque son más fácil para poner y están más gruesos. I don't know if y'all have been to the Regional Museum of History of Tamaulipas in Victoria recently, but who's running those exhibits now? Pee Wee Herman? No sé si han ido al Museo Regional de Historia de Tamaulipas en Victoria recientemente, pero ¿quién se está encargando de esas ex exposiciones? Pee Wee Herman? Thank you, that was perfect. Thank you. Wow. Wow. Oh my God. That was the coolest episode of Narcos I've ever seen in my entire life. Oh my God. I didn't realize your material translated so well to uh, <laughs> Espanol. Neither did I. Yeah, we were actually in Tamaulipas last night. William, I love this look. Uh, I didn't. Oh, thank you. you look like if there was a crossover episode between uh, Dallas and Duck Dynasty or something <laughs> like that. <laughs> Who shot PB and J over here? Uh, I'm going to start buying these shirts on eBay. This one's also a little too small. No, it's good. You wear it absolutely. Crowd, doesn't he wear that shirt well? Come on. Come on. You want to make out with a girl with extra hard nipples, huh? No, no I'm kidding. I'm kidding. That. I'm kidding. William, I'm kidding. I'm joking. No. <laughs> That's not what this show is, people. Yeah, I'm just that would kidding. end badly. I'm just joking. That would end badly. William, how's it going? You look fucking fantastic. You got a new. It's been. Uh, it's been a few months now. You lived in Texas. You got a new hat. I do. Yeah, I went to LA Fitness for the first time. I've worked out in five years today. Wow. It's fucking. It's killing me moving my arms. That's a real segue. I asked about the hat. You talked about going to the gym today. Uh. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my arms were killing me. I was on the Stairmaster for 15 minutes. Wow, yeah, your arms must be exhausted from the Stairmaster. Absolutely crazy. <laughs> I was working on that joke when I was on the Stairmaster. <laughs> yeah. It... I love it, I love it. How long were you on the Stairmaster? 15 minutes. And then what'd you do? Uh, something with a, a curved 20-pound weight. I was sort of just lifting it around. And some fucking old piece of shit came up to me. He was like... Yeah, I think there's like a 40, fa 40 pound one over there. And I was like, okay. Oh, I don't know why he said that to you me. You think he was telling off. you to like lift more weights? Correct. That's totally oh, what he was doing. Oh, what a piece, piece of, of shit, shit, dude. Total piece of shit. Wow. He came up to you at the gym and said that? He did. Yeah, he was on the little bench thing next to me. And this was your first time at the gym in five years, you said, huh? Or more. I but love yeah, it. at least. Did you do a single sit-up? It really doesn't look like it. <laughs> I tried. I can't. Yeah, this is bad right now. Yeah, it looks, like, really it looks like you right did now. squats with your belly. <laughs> 
<laughs> You're going to get those Duke brothers. What the fuck did you just say? I don't even get that. Yeah. I don't even understand Literally, that. I don't think anybody knows. What did you say exactly? Nothing. All right. There you go. That's good podcasting right there. Now right? everyone knows what I'm God. talking about. What? The Duke brothers. The Duke brothers? Boss Hogg. He's Boss oh, Hogg. Oh, okay, that's, yeah. Explain little, little, it for the young kids. Yeah, no, it's, that's before my time. There's a 10-year age gap between me and Red Band, believe it or not, uh, and that's part of it. But I got the <laughs> Dallas reference, right? Mm-hmm. That was close enough. Um, okay, so you're dressed like that. You think this is going to be a new... You have a lot of mosquito bites? You're very itchy right now, Oh, no, my arms are really killing me. I'm not kidding. They're killing me. Really? I took a nap earlier, and I couldn't move my arms, and it scared me for a second. Then I remembered I worked out. Yeah. <laughs> you it was you were bad. It really, I was legitimately attack. afraid. Yeah, I thought I was dying. Oh, my goodness. Well, you look fucking fantastic, dude. I love this. I don't know what A&E show you remind me of, but uh, <laughs> it's definitely a few of them. I love it. What else, William? Anything else crazy in life? I wrote my old friend Alex Rayner is getting married in Vail, Colorado this weekend, so I'm flying to Denver uh, Thursday, so we'll see how they go. How long have you been on this show, William? What's it been? Two and a half years Something or like longer? That. Polly, William has been writing a brand new minute in front of the entire internet for over two and a half years every single week. What do you think about that? You know, you've, you've been... Polly, Polly was raised at the comedy store. You understand this? His babysitters were fucking uh, Sam Kinison and fucking insane people. Yeah, Richard Pryor, yeah. David Letterman, Yeah, they all Robin took care Williams. of a little baby boy named and, Polly that yeah, was running and, around the comedy And club. they molested me, but we can't go into that. <laughs> wow, you can't even go there. Polly's Me <laughs> no, Too's... He's... Polly's Me Too's, all the statues of limitations are up on him, so... No, I love this dude. I saw him at the store many years ago. He's fucking funny, dude. Very funny, and congratulations on writing all the time. It's great. And uh, you got to do what uh, David's doing, which is headline Pittsburgh, too. You should do that. You should do that shit. I figure out how to do that. Yeah, well, you're good. He's he's saying, motherfucker, I'm going to play in A Club now. Shit. That's what he's got to say, too. Yeah. I think think it's just a very short matter of time before William's doing the same thing. Yeah, absolutely. Very funny. We'll see. William, how long have you been How long have you been sober now? 60 days, maybe. 60 days, ladies and gentlemen. You're witnessing greatness. Went to the gym today for the first time in five years, everybody. This is a man who's been doing the job, getting better, and absolutely killing. Now has spots opening uh, before me, before uh, opening for Joe Rogan, everyone. And so this is That's a guy. That's fun. I have to memorize my jokes. I creeped him out. Moving when I was upward and gym. onward, doing the right thing, writing continuously. How about one more time for your final comedian of the Thank night, you. the great William Montgomery, everybody. <laughs> Guys, we did it. That's an episode of Kill Tony. How about a big hand for the great Pauly Shore? Come on. So fun to get to work with you again, sir. Guys, make some noise for the great Josh Martin. How about a big hand for the screwball kill Tony band, everybody? Charles. The great Matt Muling on guitar. And D Madness on bass guitar. Remember, you can see Pauly Shore tomorrow in San Antonio, the next day in Austin, here at Vulcan Gas Company. Finish it up. If there's any seats available for that, you guys should be here on Wednesday. Josh Martin, also one of the absolute funniest fucking comedians out there. You gotta check out Josh Martin's comedy. Absolute cold-blooded assassin. This guy was built in the late nights at the comedy store. A real comedy store comedian. Uh, So see him and Polly on uh, on here, Austin, Wednesday. Houston, Thursday, Dallas, Friday, and Fort Worth, Saturday. Check out his movie, Guest House. Listen to his podcast, Random Rants, and find Polly Shore in the Crusties. Listen to his band. The great Ryan J. Ebel drew tonight's unbelievable fucking picture from L.A. You guys, check that out real quick. Zoom in on yourselves on that. All those prints are available at ryanjebel.com, including the new Kill Tony bingo cards are for sale. And let's check out what Chris Rogers drew during... Uh, during uh, during the show, a oh, live local fuck? artist named Chris Rogers, you can find him at Chris Rogers Art, drew this. What the fuck is that? 
Oh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. All right. I saw the closed eyes. I thought it was Deep Madness for a second. I don't know what's going on. Did you guys have fun tonight? Red Band. Thanks a lot, guys. Love you. We love you, Austin, Texas. Stick around. We're going to have fun after this.